Life. Hello, You're everybody, right. and welcome You're to life. Greg's Game Relatable Home Stakes. We play $1, $1, $100 buy in maximum. As you can see, waving to the camera and now speaking, our host, Greg, goes all in. Uh, I am the Deuce, joined with Garrett. Hill. How's it going, everybody? Happy to be here. Welcome to the stream today. We are starting off with a $1, $1, $100 max buy in. We are doing if you lose at showdown, you eat a pepper. And these peppers are either not hot or they are hot. Crazy. Or Unbelievable. Like, like just ridiculous. I don't know I don't know if you know what a Scoville is. But they get real hot. And milk is ten dollars. What do you think? Should we start the game? I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and start the game. All in for who? But, um or uh, David's all in. Uh, apparently, David, oh, David uh, a newcomer in. to the Greg's game, is all oh, in. With already all in. Ten seven off suit. Uh, not a hand you usually go all in with blind b out of turn, um, but at Greg's game, pretty much anything happens. Hmm. So, um, old man coffee here with nine eight suited. A hand he'd probably like to play, uh, just not for uh, his entire stack. Uh, and of course, we see uh, Chutchington with a reasonable hand, uh, ace queen offsuit. Probably going to find a call here because David is a flippin' maniac. Something uh, to note here that uh, the graphics are showing that Old Man Coffee has a thirty dollars, but it's actually David. So uh, Old Man Coffee just made the call there. Oh, okay. So and, Old Man uh, Coffee's called a thirty dollars. Chutchington's gone all in here, and we've got a three-way all in. Chutchington is rejammed. First hand of the stream. First hand of the stream. <laughs> if you lose at Showdown, you eat a pepper. Two people are going to be eating some peppers uh, very soon. Uh, the runout comes nine deuce jack. Uh, so uh, Old Man Coffee's binked his nine. There it is. He's binked Jesus. trips. Wow. And Old Man Coffee with nine eight suited takes it down. I'm really glad I'm not in this game today for some reason. Now is perhaps a good time to mention that uh, Chutchington is actually allergic to peppers uh, and now has to consume one. And uh, we're going to quickly do uh, a chip stack count. Can you just ask Adam? Hey, uh, can uh, you get a count for everyone? The graphics were wrong. Yeah. Hi. David? We're just uh, fixing some numbers on our end so that y'all can see the correct things. Uh, it's at this moment of time that uh, Greg reveals that there is in fact a degenerate wheel of spiciness that he will roll. Uh, there are four pepper options. Uh, of course, there's the lovely bell pepper with a Scoville of zero, meaning they have no spice whatsoever. Then there's the jalapeno at a Scoville of 8,000 which I believe it is just landed on. So that's uh, 8,000 mm -hmm. jalapeno peppers. Oh, they're nice, you know, you add them to a taco salad. Maybe you take the seeds out, maybe you don't. They're, they're a good solid pepper. Then we've got something a little meaner in the saran pepper that hits for 23,000 Scoville units. And of course, the Thai chili pepper, the pepper that's known to make people uh, rip their faces off in their mind that Chutchington has managed to hit, that's got a Scoville rating of uh, about 100,000. Oh man, I've got word from Chutch right before the game too, he does not do spice. So this is going to be interesting. Already first hand, he's eaten one of the hottest peppers there are. If anyone wants to uh, observe Chutchington's uh, five stages of spiciness and invent them with me, because I don't even know what they are. <laughs> All right, here we have uh, Bowen with Queen Jack off suit. Under the gun, she has made a raise with the Queen Jack offsuit under the gun. That's two pieces of Broadway. Not suited, but uh, uh, maybe a little loosey goosey here under the gun spot. But I guess really tight compared to shoving out of uh, out of turn with 10 7. So it's folded around. Chutchington has called. And we are heads up. Tell them to pause. Tell them to pause. Uh, can you pause really quickly? Uh, we are having a small technical issue. Back in for 30? At this point, I would like to mention once again that uh, this is Greg's game, but if you lose at showdown, you eat uh, a spicy pepper. For, who's in the hand right now? And milk 
Milk is ten dollars. Players are allowed to purchase milk. The chat is also allowed to purchase milk. But more importantly, the chat is allowed to buy anyone at the table a pepper for ten dollars. Chushington calls? Chushington folds, right? Oh, it looks like Chutchenden has folded, so it is Bowen and Old Man Coffee. Uh, Bowen oh, and Old Man Coffee both all in. And um, Old Man Coffee! Bink City, Old Man Coffee, has uh, drilled his club on the turn, and then an extra one just for fucks and giggles. One off the street. And uh, Old Man Coffee here, uh, that is unbelievable. Just an extremely disciplined uh, game of poker where he uh, puts it all in with 8 3 suited. Draw, drawing to the like 8 worst flush. That That's unbelievable. Is. The first two hands of this match. Old Man Coffee. I mean, in a, in, a, in a regular, normal, disciplined game of poker, it would be unbelievable, but at Greg's game, this is, this is, just, uh, this is just part of the fun. We're just getting started. We are just getting started, everybody. All right, Greg has pulled out his Wheel of Spicy Doom, and it has landed on what looks to be the Bell Pepper, a nice, friendly Zero Scovilles. We can eat these for snacks. If you, uh, if you have uh, young children at home, they probably don't like peppers. That's the stereotype we deal with, but um, compared to all the other options, they're probably preferable. Can you get Greg back here? Hey, Greg. Can, can I get Greg? The shadow button isn't working. The shadow button is not working, Greg. Oh, alrighty. Someone's all in. Doesn't matter. We can go. We go to Bowen. It is on Bowen, who is raised. Dave is all in. And David has gone all in. Old Man Coffee folds, which is what Old Man Coffees are supposed to do. Greg is folded. Uh, Gabe is looking at his hand, and it's also Queen Jack offsuit. And he says, I'm all in, too. I want in. Chachin says, I've already taken a pepper. I'm, I'm in outer space right now. And Bowen has folded her pair of threes that she opened with. A disciplined, reasonable, logical, solid fold. I don't know if anyone else Chachin folds. Greg, just saying the straddle button isn't working. And it looks like we are off to a flop here, and the flop is going to come out. Seven, eight, ace. We were dominated pre, and it just doesn't seem to matter. Five, and the run of it has come clean. Domination nation means no such situation in this nation. And we are, uh, we are once again in Bink City. Uh, and David has successfully forced Gabe to spin the wheel and also surrender some money. The, min the wheel has landed on what appears to be the jalapeno pepper, a pretty, pretty friendly, you know, a healthy amount of spice. Put it in your taco salad. We have just received a donation, and I'm just going to pull it up on my phone here so that I make sure that I am reading this correctly. Let's go ahead and see here. One, two, three. Let's see here. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Looks like $25? $25 donation. Pepper for Greg and milk for Adam for being a good dealer. Can you wow. share the news, Jay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting Greg's game and our ability to inflict pain on Greg. Resol Matt, I believe that is our good Mateo. friend Matteo. What, uh, what a mensch. What an incredible human being. Thank you so much for the $25 donation. That is just so good. That is just so funny. Wait, how many times did he make this donation? Um, once. Just, what? just the once. I don't know. <laughs> um, Mateo, how many times did you make this donation? Because w w what we're seeing here is four. We're seeing four donations Just the here. ones, I thought. But um, anyways, Ezra's in the chat. Ezra, how is it going? Livia is in the chat. How are you? Dark Moogle, thank you so much for being here. Nice. Right. They're wheel. cheersing. Greg is Love eating a pepper. That. Adam is drinking some, some cool, refreshing, soothing milk. This stream not at all sponsored it in any way, shape, or form oh, by Big Milk. Who is going to or Big Pepper. One more time, Adam. I can't. 
Uh, we are going to a flop involving some players uh, who have taken actions pre. Uh, not not quite sure who, but I think we can assume that David was probably the aggressor, as he is uh, fairly aggressive. Not in not in person, just in the game. All right. Looks like we had a, ra a, a raise to three, and then a re-raise to fifteen dollars. Gabe is three betted here with ace queen offsuit, and he has hit his ace, which puts him well in the lead of everyone else. Everyone else needing, looks like runner runners here, in order to uh, pick up anything. There's runner runners straight outs. There's runner runners flush outs for David. Runner runner two pair outs, but uh, Gabe probably sitting here pretty happy. Looks like Old Man Poppy is already all in. And uh, David has just led out $25 on this flop for no reason whatsoever. He's donked into the original Razor. Dave is obviously snap all in as he hit his queen, or his ace, with a very good kick up here. And he's probably just hoping that he doesn't experience what happened to him last time, which is being sick. Is Old Man Coffee really thinking about making the call right now? I think, I think so. He says something, something, pot odds, looks at his cards. They still suck. And he is in the tank for some reason. He's Old Man Coffee's, uh, his, his mental ability has decreased with age, and he, he has made the, the call, call for some reason. The 6% uh, VPIP. We're up and over, and he's 6% 6 to hit. Oh, 6% equity. Equity. Equity, sorry. He's in fact here with 8 deuce. This is... He has uh, binks, okay, okay. nothing. He's missed completely. He's dead. Um, I appreciate the hustle, though, from Old Man Coffee. Old, old Man Coffee is uh, doing what many old people wish they would not do, and has died... <laughs> Terribly. In fact, this is this would be the absolute opposite of what Old Man Coffee stands for. Yes, actually, old, for those of you who are new to the game, Old Man Coffee is a stereotype of a person who shows up to a casino with a, a an older uh, an older folk who shows up to the casino, mm. uh, purchases a, a black coffee in the morning, sits there, right. and folds every single hand until they find aces. Yes. Sometimes kings. Um, queens, that's a little loosey-goosey. Sure, me. sure. Yeah. There are people whose, whose range uh, starts at about aces. Right. Um, now, this particular Old Man Coffee uh, uh, is um, named Old Man Coffee. His first name, Old, second name, Man, last name, Coffee. It's actually mm. Coffee, oh, wow. but uh, he anglicized it when he came into reality. Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for True story. Uh, sharing that all with us. Great. <laughs> Ezra, in the chat, going crazy. Absolutely love to see you here. Midnight Toker. Old Man Coffee has folded, which is rare. Greg Mux. Uh, and Gabe is oh. raised up with King Queen offsuit. A pretty nice hand to begin with. Chudgington has called with Ace 3 offsuit. And David's probably looking uh, to re raise here. I knew it. Jack I saw it. With I, his oh. Ace Jack offsuit. There was no way that wasn't happening. Gabe is probably hating life right now. King Queen is a nice hand to open with and not a nice hand to call with here. It's pretty bad. But David is a bit of a maniac, so he's maybe thinking, oh my god, he's oh, re wow. it. Wow. King Queen offsuit. Touch making the full. Touch has gotten out of here, which means he's not dominated Nated. Come on. <laughs> and uh, we are at about 60 to 40%. We just received another $25 donation. We will read this directly after this sweat. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. And we have hit the queen. It was binked. Gabe now very ahead, but he needs to fade an ace, and he does it. Wow. Gabe with the king queen off, gonna take this hand. Unbelievable. Can you tell me any poker stream that starts with six all ins? Can can you name one? Because I can't. I think at one point, at like band camp, when we were playing for candies, <laughs> somebody pulled out a phone and recorded it. Uh, maybe that. Maybe that time. Old Man Coffee needs another pepper to wash down that pepper, and one for Greg because why not? Jay, could you share the news? Thank you so much, Mateo. Thank you again for the another twenty-five dollar dono. Um, also, just want to be clear that Super Chat Bomb Pot on the bottom is incorrect. 
and uh, we have not raised over four hundred dollars. Well, not yet. Not yet, but we will uh, get that changed immediately. May you tell Adam to tell Greg that the bomb pod graphic is incorrect. May, may you too? They're spinning for the donation. Oh, they're spinning for the Greg. donation. Alrighty. Wheel of Fate. It has landed on. We're not sure, but we will. We'll, we will be sure when Greg reaches for the pepper. He has hit. Da, 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 da. I have. Oh, that's the bad one. That's the bad cup. That's a Thai pepper for for old man coffee. This spice might uh, wake him from his stupor of playing every hand. And uh, looks like a just a regular old jalapeno for Greg. Let's see how old man coffee takes that. In no other poker stream, I guarantee you, does old man coffee go all in twice in the first six hands and then eat peppers hot enough to make him melt his face off. <laughs> Wiggler Worm in the chat saying, hey Garrett, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much, first of all. His name's James, he's from Toronto. You would love James. I, I, I love James already. I know, uh, I can yeah, tell. We're gonna, go, right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make it to the next hand. Uh, for those of you unaware, our dealer today is Adam. He is doing an incredible job at pitching these cards to people, and an even better job at mucking Greg there. Uh, which brings us to Gabe, who has folded. That's a disciplined fold. I have no idea what he's folded, but it seems disciplined to me. And uh, to his left, we've got Shutchington, who's shuffling chips, and he'd already folded, and we've folded all the way around, apparently. This is fantastic. I, I prefer um, guessing <laughs> it's, it's, what the action is. I wish we just had cameras on their faces, <laughs> not showing the table at all. The, the live um, reads of trying to figure out uh, who's, who's in the hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looking at only two players. So as you can see, Gabe and Old Man Coffee not playing this hand. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I think it's a bold strategy here to, uh, so to fold your cards pre so that you don't have to go to showdown. That's, right. a, that's a good one. Now let's take a look at their faces. Yeah. Flop came out. What do you think is on the board? Uh, I, I'm feeling. Uh, I think it's Broadway. I think it's straight I think, Broadway. I think it's probably a royal draw. No, no. I think it's Ace Queen Jack. Wow. Uh, two hearts. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we've got some cards. Um, Gabe folded. The I knew he would have folded a kind of hand like that. Yeah. I mean, me too. Yeah. yeah. Which is too bad because he, he's going to miss his his draw here to the to the straight that we think is on the board. Right. Right. Okay. It looks like the. The hand is over. <laughs> and, uh, well, that was pretty exciting, uh, folks. Uh, let's start here first. Let's see what way the chips go. The to chips David. are going towards David, who just won, David, just won a hand with 6 3. With 6 3. What the heck? Uh, over ace 9. And on the bottom here, we can see that our, our uh, run out was Queen 10 7, a mystery card that we can probably <laughs> assume was a 6. <laughs> Folks, you just can't get this quality oh, of streaming man. anywhere else other than Greg's game, the uh, friendly, relatable home stakes game where uh, every every everything that happens results in pain. I uh, have never watched a more relatable live stream in my life. Me neither. Yeah. I actually thought that this was this was an auto a, a biographical tale of the Deuce. There you go. Wow, what an exciting hand that was. That was incredible. What a what a well played. Uh, hand. Uh, it looks like David uh, had 6-3 offsuit and then put all of his money in the middle <laughs> and then at some point hit a 6. That's unbelievable, to be honest. Which is quite skilled. Gabe here with another good hand. Ace-Queen offsuit. Ooh, he got some juicy hands and a lot of players that would play looks fucking like anything. <laughs> <laughs> so It looks like Gabe had called. He's flat with his Ace-Queen. Chushing and raised with Jack. I don't see anybody folding here except Bowen, for Greg. Three bets with Queen Jack suited makes sense. David obviously uh, four bets with his random ass cards. One of them happens to be an ace, which is and a we got a jam bet. all in. Gabe is jammed, so uh, that I believe means that we haven't had a hand yet that has not gone all in. Wow, David folding. This is this is shocking. Old man coffee with Queen Deuce. Fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> thinking about making the call. Oh, man. The call. Yes. Yeah, you know, Jay, you're right. Just There's a, a flush draw. There, there is a flush, flush draw, draw here. A queen high flush draw that might be counterfeit, but it, it's a flush draw nonetheless. 190. <laughs> it looks like Old Man Coffee has actually asked for a count before deciding to fold his fucking he, garbage. It's so. interesting. Old Man Coffee's picture looks like my GTA character. Now, it's worth noting that if Old Man Coffee does <laughs> call here, he is double <laughs> dominated. He is utterly shit on in every conceivable capacity except for this spade draw. Hey. And he is thinking about it deeply. 22% isn't too, too bad. I think he's gonna make the call here. Well, every time Old Man Coffee has tanked so far, he's eventually called. It looks like right now he is um, <laughs> keeled over in physical pain. And now he's checking his cards to make sure that they are in fact the queen and deuce of spades. <laughs> <laughs> that they're still pretty bad. He's, he's, he's thinking if he has any fold equity, but of course everyone else is already all in, so, so he doesn't have any of that. I now think his inner monologue right now is, wow, that's a lot of money I could win. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you what his actual yeah, I would love to know. Jay, yeah, Jay with, with the, a psychological uh, analysis. A little bit of a more of an his, insight. His current head, he's like, it's a suited hand. <laughs> It has to have draws. It. Right, and All with right. the queen high. He's got a two. two. Matter. He has <laughs> made the fold. Makes it the fold. It only took three minutes to do something that anyone else at the table would assume logically would happen. Wow, he's going to be happy to see that he folded two queens with better kickers. Now, uh, Gabe's looking really happy here because he's actually blocking this, this flush draw. Let's see so how many spades. So even if Bowen binks some diamonds, we've got three, seven king. Bowen's got three outs and misses them all. Gabe takes down with ace queen off suit. As you can see, uh, our, our V pips are um, interesting. Uh, Greg has no V pip. He hasn't actually played a hand uh, because he's uh, supposedly trying to make money playing poker, uh, which doesn't really seem fair in this kind of game. Uh, everyone else has at least got the audacity, the 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 the. the uh, respectability to, to have a VPIP over 50%. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I'll find it interesting the first time we see a hand with no all-in. Mm. Well, no all-in pre. It's going to go all-in eventually. Exactly. Worth reminding everyone, this is in fact a $1, $1, $100 max buy-in game. $100 is 100 big blinds. Wow. Uh, which which usually doesn't mean that all of it gets in the middle of the, of the pot uh, right away. Right, Usually right. it takes a little bit more time than immediately. Mm. But that is not being the case. At what stakes do you think these players would start playing a little more conservatively? Um, that's that's really that's a good question. Um, on the one hand, you might think that higher stakes would cause them to uh, think about the money they're losing, but I feel like thinking wasn't really part of <laughs> anyone's plan. Anyone's plan <laughs> anyone's here. Anyone's plan. Wow, look at this old man coffee again with the suited cards. David <laughs> David is raised to three dollars. Old man coffee's looked down and found two cards that share a suit, which means he has to fight them. <laughs> old man coffee. Greg has folded six deuce, which is close to seven deuce. Worth noting there is a seven deuce game on at this table. If you take a hand down with seven deuce in any capacity and show the table, you get five bucks from every other player. Old Man Coffee calling the three bet with David here. Let's go ahead and see a flop. Ace of Hearts not coming. Gabe three bet with six, four suited? What's oh happening? Oh my god. And the board is run on ace, jack, ace, rainbow. But you know with what one they say? Fade. Not only are they good for the table, but they're good for content. Really good for Old Man Coffee has folded the best hand of King High to David's half pot bet. And Gabe is folded too. Wow. Late, which means David wow. takes it down with Queen 9 offsuit. Surprising Gabe won't chase his uh, back doors there. Well, the 6 4 with Ace Ace Jack on the board. What do you feel about that, Aduce? Uh, I feel like it means that Gabe is probably the smartest player at the table. <laughs> oh, yes. For sure. Which honestly doesn't mean a lot. No, because he did, he did 3 bet with 6 he 4 suited. He did 3 bet with 6 4 suited, which is uh, of the hearts, though. The, well, hearts, does, are, hearts are a stronger suit than the other suits. They are. That's true. So it does make it a little better, but yeah, still. But it's a little loose. Let's see what's going on in the chat it here. It's like most of this table. It's, uh, it's a little loose. Oh, we got Callum in the chat. Callum in Callum. the chat. Welcome. Callum is a, is a, has been a regular 
at the, at the old off-camera Greg's game. It's good to see him in the chat here. He's saying, let's go, David. Show off those skills from the 2-5 tables at Vela. Winky face. That's David is actually a professional-ish poker player. I would say he is a professional-ish poker player, too. He's renowned for his gambling. Ish. Ish. Renowned-ish for his gambling. <laughs> Yeah. But no ish on the gambling. No, 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 no. no he's definitely no, gambling. He definitely knows what he's doing here. So, um, really, honestly, so super interesting. So that's the hand bone fold four minutes ago. Gabe <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> here with another ace x. Uh, this one, one of the worst ace x's, but he has decided to call with ace eight. Offsuit in the hopes, I guess, of hitting. No, and never mind. <laughs> the numbers have changed. Especially then with the GG nuts here. Uh, so David, uh, three bets with nine of four suited of hearts. Of hearts. Uh, uh, David is called with eight eight offsuit, a three bet, and Chuchington has also called with wow, seven. Wow, oh, look at this. Now here's he the reason ace. why Ace and uh, a weak kicker is usually not a hand you want to be in because if David bets here. Gabe's going to think, I've got an ace. I just hit my board. But what if David's on a better ace? Wow. So usually you don't want to be playing uh, ace eight, ace, ace six, ace anything off suit really that's lower than a 10 because it's just so hard to be in a spot mm -hmm. when, when you get put all in. And uh, David is certainly not above bluff shoving a turn of river here. Mm -hmm. Gabe, on the other hand, says Gabe no. all in. Fuck all of that theory. You're a fucking idiot. Uh, wow. I have an ace. Fuck you. And uh, it turns out it's good. Wow. Well, we ha he has two outs. Uh, yeah. If a four comes right here, David is taking David it. David did hit his four, and so he could hit yet another four to scoop this. And he has missed it by he one number. It. So Gabe's wow. ace eight has uh, made it. <laughs> Take a look at the chip count here. Gabe at 471. Old Man Coffee, 238. Bowen, 100. Greg, 90. Hasn't played anything. Touching 10 on 60. And uh, David buying in again. I feel like that might be a sentence we say a lot. David, David, uh, David's actually trying to collect as many buy-ins as possible. It's not about, it's not about the, the money you make. It's about the buy-ins you pay along the way. Mm, yes. I, I think his strategy here is to inflate the table. I think his strategy here is he's actually really hungry. And so he's trying to lose as many hands as possible because right. these peppers are free. Mm. But if you want to give somebody a pepper, it does, it, it is an option. Even if they've never played a hand like Greg, who's just sitting there folding, mm -hmm. you can buy anyone at the table a pepper for $10. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. What a good price to cause someone pain. Someone just a great deal of pain. It looks like uh, David spun the wheel and has hit a jalapeno. I think I'm getting jalapenos and serranos confused. So I'm going to ask uh, our lovely uh, somebody who can ask Greg to just hold up the peppers for the audience so we can see them. Well, I believe that we should be... Uh, we're going to talk to our lovely Edison here. Hi, Edison. How are you? Fantastic. He's nodding his head well, We're doing the pepper in the wheel. Cool, cool, cool. Bunch of adding on. You're doing great. You're, You're doing fantastic. Edison here is crushing it let's here. hear it, everybody, for Edison in the chat. Everyone, let's make some noise for Edison in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, Edison is in the booth uh, helping us out, and I'm, I'm not fully sure why. It could be because he's uh, just a really nice, friendly person who wants to help out. It could be that the last time he was here, it went really badly, and he ran out of money. Um, there's really no way to tell. Chuchington again with the GG nuts. Pocket sevens. Gabe with the suited gapper. Seated, I've seated never uh, seen one. Three, three gapper? Four, four five, six. Would you, three, you, gapper. three gapper. Three gapper. Sure, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, now it's also blocked by, by double blocked by Chessington with sevens here, so uh, Gabe looking maybe not so good. He's not going to make a lot of straights here, and he's also blocked on one of his diamonds. David but hitting he king. does have a four. David's got a king. And Chessington is here with his middle pair, his second pair, effectively. And he's Chessington gotten out makes the fold. For some reason, Gabe called wow. and has now drilled two pair with wow. eight and four. David is betting again because he's incapable of doing anything else. <laughs> and the uh, last card to come is oh my brick. Gosh. Total brick. Gabe has gotten here with 8-4. David checks. Goes on oh, in. <laughs> Gabe doesn't seem to lose hands. He just wins. 
Did, did he make Mel Slapp was not present oh my God. today, but he, his spirit has embodied itself in Gabe's random garbage Can't just move. getting there. Let's see. He's having the pepper here. It's really small, which probably means it's a Thai chili pepper. Mm. I want to know everybody in the chat, who are you supporting? Who do you think is going to be the big winner of today's match? Let us know in the comments. At this point, David's on life support. Why? Look at his face. <laughs> that pepper hit him like a truck. Oh, wow. Yes, he actually is struggling with that. Old Man Coffee's sure. next to him smiling, saying, I will not be the first one to go to the grave today. Big Chupa here, what's up? How's it going? Greg has woken Thank up you for to being here. East 10 offsuit, which is maybe almost playable. We'll get to see what Greg's range is here, really, because Ace 10 offsuit, not a great hand, but if he's playing the top 25% of his range, this is this is maybe playable. Although he is in early position, and now facing the race, he's probably folding this. If he's playing somewhat uh, disciplined poker, but instead he's going to raise. He does have an ace. He hasn't played a hand yet. He's probably bored. Or he knows that Old Man Coffee likes to play any two cards. Now, we know that Greg has ace-10 on so We don't actually know what anyone else has at the table, so we're going to go ahead and guess. So, uh, uh, Chad, if you want to just slam in what uh, random two cards uh, you think Old Man Coffee decided to open with before... Oh, it looks like we've got it. It is... Uh, Logically, um, j Jack eight suited yeah, because uh, they are suited cards and they could make a flush. And flushes are better than pairs, and so he's playing them. Shaq in the comments saying here, tell Jeff I hope he eats a peanut. If you're familiar with that, Jeff's character Chuchington is allergic to peanuts. So. Allergic. Peanuts. To peanuts. Try my one ingredient recipe. <laughs> Try my one ingredient peanut. <laughs> you gotta check it out, Chuchington on YouTube. He's got some awesome content. Going to a flop. It looks like we here. made it to this flop and no one has actually gone all in, which must makes me assume that their buttons have broken. Seven deuce on the board is obviously scary on this table. Yeah, uh, seven deuce very playable hand, especially with the equity you get with that uh, game going on. Go ahead, check around. It's uh, checked around another wow. seven. We've got a uh, table that uh, a flop that's missed everyone and a turn as well, and now this king has uh, ripped off everybody. People are checking it down. Greg has checked it down and shows that he's got ace high. It's showdown. Oh yeah, by the way, you can't muck it. Yeah, yeah. Only only when there's and his ace high is good, so we are spinning that wheel for David and for Old Man Coffee. David is, I think I heard the word Serrano. So I think these are the Serrano peppers. It's kind of hard to tell. They're green. The difference is a mere 40,000 Scovilles. So, you know, wow, just a lot of difference between the Serranos and the... Uh, the uh, Jalapenos. Wow, oh, sorry, I, I, my, my math was wrong. It's about 15,000 difference. 15,000. It's about three times hotter. Oh, no, my four God. times hotter. Oh. Yeah, the reason that uh, we're uh, commentating is because we aren't good at math, and so we are also not good at poker. <laughs> That's correct. That is correct. Uh, David has bought some milk, I assume, because. Uh, Everything hurts. And Old Man Coffee is crunching down on that, wow. that crunchy bell pepper. Look at that technique. David is starting to touch himself in, in pain. Wow. I must assume that the, the peppers he's consumed from playing basically every single hand to show them. It's is, funny because whenever I touch myself, I usually am in pain too. Oh, God. <laughs> Think of the children, Garrett. <laughs> there should be no children watching. This is a poker stream. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, back to poker. Uh, David has woken up to uh, queen 10 offsuit. For some reason, the graphic shows Bowen has king 10 offsuit. So when David inevitably decides to bet, yes, which he's done, um, Bowen will actually dominate him should she decide to play. Old Man Coffee's going to call here, obviously, because he's got two cards that are suited. Suited, of course. So he's got to play them because they're oh, suited. Oh, wow. Is he making the he makes, he makes the, the call. call. And Bowen is here and has also called. And okay. does not know it, but she's dominating David. I feel this for Old Man Coffee. 
I don't oh, I was wrong. Ace ten nine Bink City for Bowen. Now of course David thinking, oh, I got a middle pair. I might be good, so I'm going to bet out in increments of five until I make it to the amount of twenty-five dollars, which has been his post-flop bet every single time so far. <laughs> uh, Bowen is going to make the call. She's caught a piece and wants to hang on for more. The next card is the seven of brick. Oh, okay, but increased his outs though. Does and faded all of them. They checked around. We're on the we're on the option. Wow. Bowen has gone all in. <laughs> Looks like David folded. Wow. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't know that, that was an option. Coming. He just folded second pair. Looks like decent kicker. Pretty unbelievable that we have yet to see a hand with no all in. But we just. You're right. That was an all. Oh my god. That was still an all in. I'm surprised that that was the first hand we've seen that didn't go to showdown. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> and this is hand what? Ten? Yes, Twelve? I think it is. How many hours has this been going on? One. <laughs> it's been. Uh, it's been 40 minutes, and we uh, just finally found a hand that didn't go to showdown. I would love to come up with some uh, initiatives with you. Initiatives? Initiatives. Like like in Dungeons & Dragons? No, I'm thinking more so like, you know, hey, if someone donates $50... Do you mean incentives? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did, yeah, that's, that is what I mean. <laughs> For sure. All yeah. uh, right. Uh, Chuck's in here with queens. <laughs> uh, a real hand that you're allowed to raise with, and he does. Oh uh, Bowen folds two suited cards because she is not an old man copy. David here with ace five yeah. offsuit, thinking I can three bet with this, and he oh, does to twelve dollars. They're suited. His ace five offsuit is suited. The nine seven. Oh, the oh. Old man copy office calls because he has to. That's a he rule. Has to. He's read the rule book of poker. You have to call these, these situations. Greg here folds, obviously. Gabe's here with a 6 7 offsuit, and I assume will be folding, but looks like he's reaching. He calls with 6 7 offsuit, and will probably make two pair on the turn because that's how this game has gone for him. Chuchington he has to four bet here. You have to think he's four betting the Queens. He knows David three bets with any two cards, so. He's got to be going all in he here. He does, in fact, four bet to $60. Four bet to $60, leaving money behind, which is interesting. You'd think he'd want to maximize his fold equity. Old Man David Coffee has gotten calling. Out of Old Man Coffee has two suited cards, and they could hit. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Uh, actually, it's very believable if you've been following along. <laughs> but yes, by any other uh, poker standard, this is ridiculous. Uh, Greg's game. Don't try this at home. Or do. We're not your boss. No spades. Uh, no spades at all. Three, four, five, six, runner, runner. Uh, we got runner, runner outs for Old Man Coffee. Chuddington is going to go all in because he's got queens. Oh and uh, it looks like Old Man Coffee called for some reason. I don't I don't know why. He just felt like it. He has and outs? He's got no, no outs. <laughs> he's dead. He's super dead. Wow. Old Man Coffee was hungry uh, and was willing to pay $153 for a pepper that will punch him in the face. I love that. Hey, if we were playing with the notion, he would have had a flush draw. So maybe he's not that bad. Greg's game, but you can pay for those. Wow. I really like that one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Uh, incentives. Incentives? Yes. Initiatives? <laughs> uh, incentives. Uh, what do you think the table should do for fifty dollars? Five no. zero dollars. Five zero. I think everyone should should spin the wheel. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, I'm sure they would too. For a fifty dollar donation, everybody, five zero. Every single person on the table will spin the wheel and eat a pepper. That is a good discount on the the regular rate of ten dollars to eat a pepper. That is. You're getting one. Buy five, get one on. There you go. Uh, what, what, would they, what, what do you think the table will do for a hundred dollars? I think I think you get to decide which pepper everyone eats. We wow. take the wheel away. We just let you punch them in the face. Wow. Those Thai chili peppers run at a hundred thousand Scovilles. I once saw Greg eat a Thai chili pepper and start crying for his mother, who he has a troubled relationship with. So you know he was he was having some just some real issues. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you do for a hundred dollars? What would I do for a hundred dollars? Yeah. That's really good. I don't so, think I've ever had that much money before. <laughs> Let's see here. David. Ooh. That's a decent little hand there. David is standing up. 
uh, which is a rule if you have uh, two suited cards that are 9 and 8, apparently, and your name is David and you're playing this table. He has just uh, made an action of four grade. Oh, we're playing the stand-up game. We're, we are playing the stand-up game. For those of you who don't know how the stand-up game works, uh, everyone stands up. And when you win a hand, you get to sit down. The last player to sit down, or the sorry, the last the player remaining standing, when everyone else has sat down, owes everyone else at the table some amount of chips to be decided at the beginning of the game. Now, uh, we're actually going to play a virtual stand-up game here, which means you don't have to stand because it ruins the camera angles. Uh, so it just means that uh, once the game starts, you're trying to win hands, and the player who wins, uh, the player who does not win a hand before everyone else does, owes everyone else some money. Uh, in, at some tables, uh, the stand-up game is used to encourage players who might not otherwise play to play more. At, at this at this table, it's uh, done for more gambling because everyone was already gambling. Now, uh, back to poker. Greg here with ace five suited has called. Gabe is three bet with ace ten suited. A pretty good hand. Ooh, but Greg going all in. That's the name of the show. That's the name of everything he owns. Oh my god. Wow. Do you think that he made the channel just so that he could say his name more? I think so. <laughs> Gabe making the call and David. Is he only drawing to straights? He or doesn't know pairs? that he's only drawing like, to straights in pairs here. But he's he looks like he's wincing in pain, either because of his spot or more likely because of the pepper. Because this money is meaningless to him. He has flushed it down the toilet so far. That's a that's a face that's about to call. That's a calling face. That is a calling that's face. That's a calling face? I, I think so. David face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's folded. Makes a fold. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't play do play poker with Garrett. His reads are <laughs> Something. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're great. I love you. Thank you so much. Ace five versus ace, ace five ten. Versus ace ten. We are in once again domination nation, which has not done so well for the dominator of late. It's good. But two uh, Gabe two doesn't seem to sweat. miss. Gabe is kind of invincible here. So uh, we see two spades for a sweat, and we Ooh. see no spades and a ten. Uh, diamonds. So the uh, outs for Greg are really awful, and he's there dead. He's super dead. There uh, it is. There you go. So Greg played reasonable, nice, kind poker where he folded bad hands and then decided to dunk it all off by jamming with ace five suited. <laughs> Which is, uh, just for those of you who are wondering how to play the, uh, the preflop, don't jam with ace five suited unless you're really, really tight. The, these winnings are insane. Did we see that? That was. There's uh, only one person up on the table. And it's, it's Gabe. $600. Everybody else is down. Gabe is a monster. He's unstoppable. That is that is incredible. And and you can't you gotta wonder what his strategy is here because I've seen him win hands with ace four off suit. True. Or was it suited? I believe it was off suit. Oh my god, what a monster. What a monster. But to be fair, they were both red cards, so maybe he read the hand. Sure, right. I'm sure that last one didn't count. Once again, uh, folks, just a reminder, this is Greg's game, one dollar, one dollar, one hundred dollar max buy-in. But if you lose at showdown, you eat a pepper. I don't know what pepper Greg just ate there, but it can't have been too bad because he's... Oh, no, he's starting to chew his own mouth, so it was probably at least a Serrano. And he's now tilt-jammed with eight. And we've got two wow. other players. Two other players with a pocket pair here. Oh, Gabe has wow. folded his threes, it looks like. Gabe folding his threes? That's shocking. Uh, well, maybe he liked the fact that he has a bunch of money and wanted to keep some of it. <laughs> Old Man Coffee has jammed. It looks like David folded. So soon we will see a run out, maybe. I'm not sure why it's frozen, but uh, we'll guess what the run out is. Fold. Now David's still in the hand. David raised, Old Man all in, Greg all in. Apparently the person... Somebody else has cards? No, that's the muck. David is thinking about jamming here? I mean, he only has $37. He does cards. have two overs, so if he does jam, he's not that far behind. But Greg just jammed. David's claiming that he thinks Greg's jamming really tight, which means he might be thinking that Greg's jamming with jacks plus or a something plus and he's behind. 
so he does fold. So Greg has gotten exactly what he wanted in life, which is only worse hands to call him. Even though he's got eight. So Greg is wow. just claimed, quote, no fucking way, because indeed this shouldn't have happened. But here we are. Flop comes king 5-2. All of that doesn't matter because there are still only two outs for him. Oh, 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 City! Wow. Boated up. Old Man Coffee has just bought a train ticket to Bink City. To Bink City. What a play there by Old Man Coffee. Little did he know that that train ticket had a quick detour on a boat ride. And a little bit of a sweat there, too, with two spades on the board. Yeah, there was. Three spades on the board, too. Sorry. Yeah, well, he makes his boat, so it doesn't matter. And uh, now, speaking of sweating, Greg is about to eat something hot, 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 hot. Let's see. Greg has bought back in, and he's now going to spin the wheel. Uh, did he spin the wheel? Greg? Greg, we still need to... Uh, All right, just solving a, a technical issue there. Sorry, we're back now. Uh, and it looks like the wheel has been spun for Greg. Pratham in the chat complaining, saying, Chuch folded 9-9. Nine, nine. I don't think he did. I think I missed it. I didn't. I wasn't. I, I don't think he did. It went by Maybe. so quickly. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. If so. I folding 9-9 nine, nine in a spot where Greg, who's played three hands all night, is, is jamming on you, I think folding 9 is a reasonable fold. You know what? I think that might be fair enough. Now, he might have folded the best hand, but that's poker. That's just how it works. Greg says, help, I need milk, and his face looks like the face of pain. He has hurt himself deeply by suggesting this game that he is hosting, which seems to be a common theme. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen before. Old Man Coffee is in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, clever are... twist on our usual formula. Ooh, Chuch hitting the 10 on the turn. Putting him well ahead of Old Man Coffee. And he came. Old Man Coffee has completely missed. There we go. He did have that straight draw if he made a king, but he has missed his gutter. Pepper! <laughs> and Old Man Coffee. Coffee's going to continue consuming the spicy food. As we look at the V-pips here, Greg with a 25% V-pip and the lowest at the table. Uh, Bowen with 31% playing poker and everyone else doing whatever the hell they want. A bell pepper. Bell pepper is announced. Bell pepper, he dodged, he faded, he missed his outs, but he did make his pepper out. 25% equity. 25% equity to hit your pepper out. Your pepper outs, your pepper outs. You're one outer, except there's only four options, so. Right. You're 25 outer. If the deck had four cards, it's out of 100. Percent. Percent. Yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> This horrible commentary. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything I say, Jay is just judging the shit out of me. <laughs> He's like, what are you saying? Jay, a late addition to the commentary booth. He's actually here specifically to look at us disappointedly. Uh, so we know that um, we're bad at, at adding numbers together. Exactly. While well, he pulls gotcha. Otherwise, uh, we aren't put in our place. We, we get too, we, see, chat, we get too big for ourselves here up at the commentary booth. We get very. Uh, very, very big, uh, big headed. So mm. he's there to just deflate us a little bit. Definitely. Not with fillet knives. us. That's very different. With knives. With not fillet us with knives. Deflate us. Deflate. Oh, good. With knives. Because otherwise, stab. Look, I'm not here. Look to at the shame, action though. here, <laughs> David. <laughs> David, all on it with knives. Only sort of folding King Jack, which is a reasonable fold to a jam here. Maybe not a reasonable fold to David's jam here. Some of the old man coffee is up money even though he Oh he bank cityed on Greg. That's why he's up money now. A really fun statistic for everybody at home. It's been an hour now of Greg's game and we have yet to see a hand that doesn't where go someone in. doesn't go all in. <laughs> well the name of the show is Greg Goes All In. So everyone else also wanting their own YouTube shows have gone mm. in a lot too. Right. 
Fantastic, fantastic stuff. If you are watching the stream and you're in the chat, come say hello. Let's 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 talk. I want to know how you're doing. I want to know how your day's going. I want to know who you're rooting for. I want to know who you hate. Give me the gossip. Give me the tea. Give me everything that's in your body. Oh, not everything though. Well, maybe not everything. Just, just, just the thoughts. Just the thoughts. Just the word parts of your body. Yeah, just the word parts of your body, please. Craig has done a rare thing today and folded again. And uh, Gabe here with Jack Five Offsuit. That's in his uh, range of I'm bored, but not in much else. And and has in fact raised his I'm bored range. Uh, it looks to have. Uh, Bowen is called with Ace Five or Eight Five. A lot worse than Ace Five. Eight Five suited. David looking down and seeing two playing cards. Uh, uh, but but he didn't raise them. He only called. He only called. Old Man Poppy has raised here with Ace Ten suited, which is an actual hand Fuck to raise. Fuck you, with. three bet. Gabe's here like, yeah, okay, fine. I probably shouldn't have played those two shitty cards. And uh, wow. Bowen here, really tanking on this call, thinking I don't think Old Man Poppy's got real hands. That's fair enough. Unfortunately, she her flush is dominated. Flush is dominated. Now David here with two playing cards, and he's folded his two playing cards, which means David won't be in this hand post Wow. Foul. But his VPIP did remain safe at a high number, because he did call Look first. at this. A whole bunch of low cards, and that flush wow. draw comes in. Wow. This is unbelievable. This is, so a, this is the point in time when I would mention reverse implied odds, because if Bowen hits that flush, he's actually dead. But it doesn't matter, because they're just going to put all of their money in anyway. Oh my coffee, all in. Going with 12 outs. A little bit of a tough situation with here, but with all the copies all in for 198, that's Bowen's effective stack. Bowen's getting about 2 to 1 on her money here, and she's about 2 to 1 on equity, so if she calls, it's not that bad. This isn't a raked game, obviously, so. The odds here to call are not that bad if she if she figures all of her straight outs are good. What she might not realize is that all of her flush outs are dead. I'm wanting a call here so bad. Yes, she and she the makes call. the call. Now she just sees two cards she did not want to see, which is those flush three hundred dollars in the pot. But all see? the diamonds are bad for her. That four is also nothing. She doesn't help at all, and the queen uh, breaks it off. You know what? I, I think, honestly, it was a good call. Lots of outs. Old Man Coffee playing what uh, you would call loose. Yeah, well, and, and that, even just the math, right? 12 outs, that's 34% equity, and she's getting 2 to 1 on her money. That's I agree. a callable call. That's a callable call. I would say so. Uh, unfortunately, that does come with punishment of one Thai chili pepper, the hottest one we've got available. Bowen's face looks like that of a duck trying to swallow something whole and getting it stuck in her throat. And now she's starting to convulse in pain and oh no, things could go sideways really fast here. We have a chat pro in the chat saying easy fold with A5 suited. What the fuck is that? And then in all caps, what was that all in Bowen? How do you feel about that? Um, which all in? The one we just watched? The one we just watched. Well, if Bowen is sitting there with, uh, what was it, 8 5 suited and counts all of her outs, all of her straight and flush outs as live, then she has excellent equity. She has about 60% equity because she would be drawing to 9 flush outs plus, what, plus another 8 straight outs? So that's. Some quick math is good numbers. 14 outs? 14, according to Jay, our resident poker math expert, 14 outs, which is really good, uh, and would be a snap call if all of them were good. Uh, in reality, she also had her 8 and 5 live, but her flush was, was no good. So it was only Chat 12 outs. getting very upset with us right now that we think that was a good call. <laughs> he said that is a snap fold, non-zero percent. That was a super bad call. A super seven high flush draw all in? Come on. Okay, but if you assume your straight outs are good, and if you're assuming that your flush is bad, it means that they're not on a pocket pair, right? which means you can assume that your hitting your pair is also good. Right? Like, you could reasonably get yourself to about 33% equity a lot of the time there. And if you do, 
It's a break even call. Ridiculous. She had eight All high. in for David with <laughs> Jay here is saying ridiculous she had eight high and then laughing, which suggests that he would also call in that spot too. <laughs> Looking at this hand here, David with the absolute nuts. No better hand. Than Jack four off Than Jack four And he's gone all in with it. He's all in. Greg makes the call. Gabe electing the call as well. With uh, the best. We are going to see a flop. Greg is called with two suited cards because he's bored. He's folded too much. He's ready to start playing poker again. Greg is looking Getting back on that money. Wow. He sees his flush draw there. He doesn't realize how good it is. Wow. Gabe has, of course, hit his pair. Uh, now it's the worst pair he could possibly hit here, but he does have a backdoor flush draw, and a straight draw. So there's no way Gabe folds, and of course, everyone gets all the money in. Greg's like, ah, nuts. Wow. And uh, David here does have a jack. David has a jack, but he's drawing to exactly, like, what, a four? Callum saying David's going to hit. David's yelling four as loudly as he can, hoping to manifest it. He does not, and there's no flush here. Gabe apparently has just won the... Oh, oh, we had two cards run out, and it's over. No Ooh, and uh, Gabe once again crushing it. He gets yeah, that GG uh, uh, sticker uh, there. That's our stand-up yeah. game. It, we're not actually standing up because it's bad of the camera, so he's won his virtual stand-up chip. <laughs> he's won a hand. He's won $141. Bowen has just spent $10 on a glass of milk because she is still suffering from calling there. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Chat Pro, for calling it out. What we didn't factor in on our equity calculation mm -hmm. is that if you lose, you do have to eat that pepper. Definitely. So Definitely. your 34% equity is actually a lot worse than 34% equity because right. although it might be a monetarily equal, every loss physically hurts. Oh, completely. And you know what, David, on that last hand, you can't blame with the absolute Robbie nuts there. You, you, yeah. you can't fold that, no. especially at Greg's game. Exactly. It's, it's the, the entertainment value is too high. That's, that's what EV stands for. Right? <laughs> Sorry, I zoned out. What did <laughs> you say? <laughs> the entertainment value is, is too high. Yes, of course. Or EV. EV, entertainment value. Yes, precisely. <laughs> I, I feel something insane about to happen. Uh, well, somebody's about to eat a pepper, so that does that does start things off. I'm sensing a royal flush in the next Oh, shut the fuck hands. up, Garrett. You sense royal flushes on every hand. Side bets? Side, side, I, I will side bet? You, I will bet you $10 that there will not be a royal flush tonight. T this whole... Tonight. Shaking on it? Shaking on it? $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. $10. If there's a royal flush, I give you $10. Yes. If there's no royal flush, you give me $10. Yes. Shaking on it. Shaking on it. Done. Best deal I've ever made, because I know it's going to happen. <laughs> I want to end this. <laughs> <laughs> Jay wanted to end this. <laughs> All right, Chad, congratulate me on the $10 that I just made. We are going to see a royal flush tonight, guys. That's so exciting. If you want to see a royal flush, make sure to stay to the very end because we know it's going to happen. I didn't factor in the uh, Omaha odds, which do increase the, the royal flush possibility. True. But they're still very true. Greg here with aces. He's going to be getting this money into the pot. Folks, this is going oh, on YouTube. <laughs> Raising the twenty dollars here. Now, wow. little known tell, but whenever Greg wants to squeeze, he he squeezes his hand. This is oh, Jack. Three. Holding it now. Jay has just called a flop of Jack King three. Gabe here's three bet. Wow. Oh, Gabe is in for a cooler wow. and a half here. This is unbelievable. David has gone all in with threes for some reason, and of course Gabe is going to think that he's no good, but did he fold? No, he called. Okay. Aces versus jacks versus, versus threes. <laughs> threes. Oh, David. Never change. Let's see a flop. Oh, king? A three! A three on a flop. Once again, Bink City is here. Update, guys. One second. David folded. David had folded pre-flop. David folded pre. Error. The one time he You're folded pre and it was wrong. Go, so go back. We're just fixing our we're fixing our graphic here. David had folded pre. It's folded. actually heads up, aces into jacks. There we go. Now we have a more accurate representation of There's what's going on. Some runner oh, runners. Wow. Runner runners. He's got more outs. Queen, queen. He oh, misses it. Wow. Unbelievable. And Greg has uh, won his stand-up game chip. He's won his entire stack's back worth of chips from Gabe and also forced Gabe to spin the wheel of punch. That was unbelievable. 
Gabe still sitting on the top there. Old Man Coffee up 204, but everyone else. Exactly down. the hand that Greg wants Money. to see other players have when he gets dealt aces. And Gabe is going to get hit with a bell pepper. Bell pepper. Uh, so unlucky on the run out, but lucky on the wheel. Wow. We're setting some peppers down. Apparently Bowen is now taking a pepper for some reason. Either for fun or because she lost a hand that we missed. I'm a little unsure. But uh, I'm unsure Edison, well. can we ask the dealer what's uh, what's going on? Why is Bowen eating a pepper? Can you just ask the dealer why did Bowen just eat a pepper? Oh, she lost oh, the net she game, lost so the stand-up game. So she has to eat every pepper. Every single pepper is the cost of the stand-up game. One of each, to be clear. One of not all of them. <laughs> just one of each. A, ra a rainbow of pepper. A rainbow of pepper. Uh, and now we already know that she had to pay ten dollars for milk the last time she ate a tie wow. So uh, she's she's hurting. She's hurting here. It looks like the knit game is still on. That's the stand-up game, but not standing up. So we've renamed it the knit game. The knit game. Still on. It's just reset, and the uh, punishment is not paying people money, but it is eating peppers. Bowen is now here with Queen Five offsuit, and also starting to lose the ability to see out of her eyes for the tears she is shedding. True. Okay. Folds Makes the royal fold. flush draw. Yes, fold, folds the royal flush draw. David also folds his royal flush draw. Uh, <laughs> old man coffee, coffee though has a king. It. He's chasing well, it. Well, king is a pretty big card. It's, it's like a second biggest card. card. Uh, not Ooh. as high as an ace though. And as Greg as is calling Ooh. with ace nine because he knows that old man coffee will play any two cards. And Gabe has called with jacking off because he's horny. So it looks like the club royal draw for Gabe is still alive. I hate you. <laughs> Chatchington with 4 3 off. Going to. He is not snap folding. Looks like the chat he pros are talking about call. something. Two of flop here. Queen, Jack, 10 of The chat has a better idea of what's happening in the stand up game than the commentators okay. in hey something room. Hollywood it up a little bit. Sure. Uh, I believe that. I do believe that too. That's a that's a nice little flop there. It's got a lot of a lot of spice, just like the peppers that people have been eating. Exactly. Do you think we might see a royal here? Mm -mm. No. That's good commentating because why? Well, if you look at the cards that are in people's hands and the requirements of a royal flush, mm. you'd know that it's impossible. <laughs> right. Omen coffee still sticking around. Looks here. like Bowen has just purchased more milk. That's ten dollars again. Uh, it's an expensive game this is de de developing into. Uh, Old man coffee with option here. Gabe is checked. He has the best hand, but isn't aware of it obviously because there's that queen on the board. He could be scared of. Raised to seventy-five. Oh, never mind. He did not check. He raised to seven to seventy-five dollars. We're in a big old massive crash of stacks. That's a huge overpot bet. Old man coffee sitting here with. King High thinking, I could get there. I'm open handed. I could get there. I'm open handed. I could get there. <laughs> I'm open handed. He has eight outs, but two of them I could get there. red cracks cards that he already folded, so. I'm open handed. This is really good. I could get I'm He open -ended. is reaching for chips. Much like two suited cards. He makes the call. Being open ended is very similar to, to having two suited cards. He makes the call, <laughs> wanting clearly to make that straight on the Just river. wanted to call. Does he do it? And he has hit his <gasps> out. <laughs> what a sicko. Oh he was open-handed, folks. God. You heard it here first several times. That is disgusting. Gabe is going to check. An old man copy is probably going to bet here for value because... Of course he is, right? You'd have to think that he's going to bet something. <laughs> wow. But how much will he bet? Looks like he bet a mystery amount that Gabe snap called and has uh, flipped over his jack. Old Ben Coffee says, straight nerd. <laughs> that is a chopped pot. What? Nine king. Oh my god, it's a chopped pot. It was a chopped pot. Oh my god. Yeah, they both had kings. I'm retiring from my career of understanding how this game works. <laughs> uh, it was indeed a chop pot. 
Good race from Gabe. Yes, All right. I do so, agree uh, with that. Chad, if you want to comment on how uh, terrible the deuce is at playing this game and reading boards, uh, now would be the time. What does everyone thought on Beyblades? What is your thought what on What the Beyblade? hell? <laughs> I'm trying to get into Beyblade. I, anyone in the chat can play Beyblade? Speaking of spinning things, though, the Wheel of Peppers is, uh... Is it being spun here for this chop? That is so sick. I don't think it is. But why did why did Greg pull it out? I think he pulled it out because it made its way to Showdown, but it was a chop pop. Anyway. Ah, I see. Ah, it, was a, it was an anticipatory... Win. Yes, exactly, exactly. 45 viewers in the chat. Thanks so much for being here. If you guys haven't already, make sure to like the stream, subscribe to Greg, and donate $12,000. Uh, so uh, a more realistic goal, if you would like to inflict pain on somebody, a $10 donation gives uh, you the opportunity to make anyone at the table spin the wheel of pepper. It could land on a bell pepper for zero Scoville. It could land on a jalapeno pepper for 8,000. A serrano for 25,000 or a Thai chili for 100,000. We've already had people buy milk three times so far because of how much physical pain they're in. And uh, it's Gabe's King Jack off or Jack King off as always. And he's three bet his jacking off. Old Man Coffee wakes up to two suited cards and has to call because that's the rule. <laughs> if this was... Uh, he has binked his two wow. and his ten and the board has come all diamonds. But there's an old... Yeah, Gabe has the diamond. Gabe does have... His diamond is an out. Wow. He could run a runner two pair. He could bink his diamond out. He could also get runner runner straight here. So the equity isn't all that bad. I want to see one more diamond, the or, uh, and then I want to see a Old Man Coffee. Oh, looks like Gabe bet $25, and Old Man Coffee calls. <laughs> three, of uh, three of bricks has made its way onto the uh, board. Changes absolutely nothing about the situation we're in, except it gives Gabe one fewer street to find his outs. Uh, it was a $75 bet into $75 it's calls. It's a king on the river. Gabe has hit his king on the river and is about to lose a lot of money here. Old Man Coffee has the stack to take stuff away from Gabe. But Old Man Coffee has gone all in, and Gabe has flipped over his king. Wow. Old Man Coffee says, I have two pair. And this time, the Clash of Titans does end in Gabe's Wait, defeat, Eric, and not a chop. <laughs> Every Wait, time! Who fucking invited that guy? I did! The graphics are correct. Who invited that guy? Ten deuce. Two pair. Well, I think the graphics are all misread. Yeah. So, uh, better call it eight. <laughs> OMC. OMC. All good. Has two pair. Graphics all good. No. Gabe won? No, he didn't. Gabe had a flush. What? Yeah. Gabe had a flush. Oh, folks, as we can see here. Oh, the yeah, king of the clubs is in Gabe's heart, and the king of clubs is in the on the board. That's correct. So we are gonna just uh, just pause here just for one second. I'm yeah. going to go to the we got other a room. Quick technological issue. Somehow Gabe had the king of clubs in his hand, and then saw the king of clubs on the board. So we're gonna assume that he actually had the king of diamonds, uh, but. Uh, we are incorrect here. Gabe won that hand. He's unstoppable. And he just ate Old Man Coffee's 300 and something dollar stack. Uh, we are just resolving that issue right now. Uh, Gabe very uh, obviously saying, I won that hand. Smiles all around. Old Man Coffee sitting there like, I don't want to eat another pepper. I'm also running out of money. Legend says that Gabe's power actually comes from bunny ears he's wearing. Uh, of course, those legends are fake and made up by me just now. And it is time to spin our Wheel of Punishment, and it lands on... It looks like we're reaching for the Thai Chili Peppers. Welcome to hell, population old man. This is what you get for being racist. <laughs> what? what just to be clear, Old Man Coffee is not racist. Can I just come back to? Uh -huh. But 
he is uh, he is gonna be in pain now. And he opens up uh, jacking off, and he bets his jacking off. Uh, in case you're wondering why he put a $25 chip out and uh, pushed it towards Gabe, he wants a change for that. Gabe is going to call, it's a $10 raise, that's a big ol' raise. Gabe is called with his eight. Owen obviously folding. David here with two suited cards, thinking, I can call her suited. I like suited cards. And he calls. And we have three players to a flop. Gabe not realizing it, but one of his eights is dead, so he's probably not making a set here. And Adam has dealt out Queen 3 9 Rainbow. David has hit his top pair. Old Man Coffee does have Kings as an out. And Gabe, again, drawing to one single 8 here. 4% equity. He's gotten the heck out. Yeah, David with a lot of backdoors here. Backdoors into jacking off? That's correct. How does David have backdoors if he's ahead? 65. Well, you, you can. You can still have backdoors if you're ahead, right? You can always backdoor somebody. All right. You exactly. can, according to Jay, you can always backdoor somebody. That's yeah. why he walks around with lube and an enema machine in his pocket at all times. Wow, amazing. We have an all in here. Jay's just confirmed my interpretation of his words were correct. And David, has, David. says, let's go. You eat a pepper. Wow. Now it's it's regular poker etiquette says after you take someone's money you don't yell in their face but at Greg's game you can. And we will be spinning the wheel of jack. Oh, just so no, everyone's aware, yeah, so that cumulative board winning, we uh, are going to be at correct. The this is the Serrano pepper, the Serrano pepper. That's much hotter than the jalapeno pepper. Serrano pepper's not as bad as the Thai chili peppers. A meager 25,000, but uh, the Thai chili peppers are kind of a slow burn. The Serrano's just sort of, just hit you. They just, they just hit you. Real they fast. They just hit you. Like when a car goes by and the, the side view mirror like runs into your arm and you're like, ah, what the hell was that? That's, that's what it's like. Has that happened to you? I declined to answer. Okay. Were you the driver? Is that I one? declined to answer. Okay. That is the sound of Diet Coke. Please sponsor. Diet Coke, not yet sponsoring us. Also not yet sponsored by Big Milk or Big Pepper. Please, consider sponsoring Greg's game. I think Chuch is going to hit big this hand. It's been a while. Chuch, it has been a while since he's been a while. found cards that work. Are we going to see a family pot? I think, I think we might. Except people, yeah, no. We've got wow, we've family. got a family pot here, family everybody. Pot. These can, hands, are, there's so many people in the hands, I can barely read them from where I'm sitting. But it might be time for a new prescription. This is this is very, very exciting. Let's see what the flop brings. Let's see. I can't really read the equity numbers. I hope you at home can. But uh, King 5 3 oh, comes out. At this. And it looks like that there are still six players in the hand. They check it around. To two of spades comes out, bringing in that backdoor spade draw. And David, of course, with spades, thinking, I can hit. Uh, we do have a bet from David, who's betting his flush draw very responsibly, getting a few people to get the heck out of this hand. Keeps here with his six, thinking, if I bank my four, I might be good. And it would be a six card straight draw, which is even better. Chuchington here with a five, which is technically the best the hand best in this game. Hand he's out of there. Now, but he's out of there. David with 14 outs, games ahead with Let's ace high, see. and has wow. hit ace with high. his ace high. Gabe probably bets here to bluff his missed flush draw. Just gonna yeah, he's just going to check it down, and Gabe yeah, will open up and say ace, ace high. high. I was you in ace in the Greg in so pain. <laughs> he runs so hot in this game. Greg is saying he runs super hot in this game of Gabe. Uh, little known fact, <laughs> Gabe has actually been to this table before uh, several times, and every time he does, he always sits down and says, I'm so bad at poker, and then takes all of our money. Meanwhile, David is taking a Thai chili pepper to the face. He's uh, also apparently bought some more milk because uh, he's going to need it to handle this. Those of you who don't know why we're feeding people milk to go with these peppers, uh, peppers are hot because of an active ingredient called capsaicin, which is an oil-based molecule, and it, it irritates the irritant. That's the spicy that you feel. And capsaicin, if you put water on it, it doesn't actually dissolve it. It doesn't help at all. Uh, but Fat does help, and the uh, there's a protein in milk that also helps to dissolve. Yeah, that that's capsaicin. really cool. Gabe has. Um... 
I just wanted, I just wanted people to learn something today. I wasn't, I wasn't going to teach them anything about poker. <laughs> Gabe has $1,154 in front of him. I guess he doesn't need to learn shit then. That sounds about right. Gabe should have a buttload of money because he had 800 and then took a 300 and something from Old Man Coffee. So, let me get this correct. Gabe is in for $100. That is correct. Currently sitting on 1150 That is correct. My god. Good old $100 max buy-in. Wow. What a monster. Let's hear it in the chat for Gabe, everybody. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Old Man Coffee 3 bet with King 3 Any suit. Of course <laughs> Binks is king. king. I mean, uh, Gabe here with 10 uh, 8 suited. He's probably going to get the hell out of here after this bet. He's or got back doors. He does, in fact, get the hell out of there. Uh, Gabe doesn't believe in the poop hole loophole and is out of here. <laughs> the poop hole loophole. That is so good. That is fantastic. The next person to comment uh, gets a shout out from the Deuce and I. Also worth noting that a donation of $10 or more uh, does allow you to uh, inflict a pepper upon anyone of the team. Oh, here we have it. Wow. Here we go. Schuyler coming in with a $9.99 dono saying, let's give Gabe some of that good caps. Capsaicin. Oh, the thing you were just talking about. The thing about. that I was saying. See, some people like to ah, learn, Gabe. Ah, yes. Just a uh, pepper for Gabe. Hello. Donation pepper for Gabe. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> uh, thank so, you, Schuyler, for that. Another very fun fact. We're all, everyone's chanting tie, 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 which must make me assume that they want a draw so that Gabe has to give everyone their money back. What's well, going to be like a jalapeno? Jalapeno, which is the second safest pepper. Again, jalapeno. The, the jalapeno pepper from the Jalapenos Islands. Yeah. I've been there, have you? Yeah. Really? Yeah, the Jalapenos Islands? Yeah. I actually, I, I own a small cabin. Do you really? I really do. Wow. Yeah, did you know no, that the Jalapenos the Islands, the only creature that's uh, indigenous to the ja Jalapenos Islands, yeah. is the uh, Howling Monkey Squirrel. The Howling Monkey Squirrel. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I yeah. actually knew that. The Howling Monkey Squirrel, yeah. Yeah, the Howling Monkey Squirrel. Uh, did, um, can, you, can you tell me about the Howling Monkey Squirrel? Yeah, sure. So okay, I'll talk about the game. You talk about that quietly. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so oh Judge of those three suited and he's raised to three dollars. Uh, David, three bet with Queen Jack off suit, and Gabe has uh, ace queen out, oh, and it's eight dollars to call here. He's probably thinking about he's four bet with his ace queen off suit to thirty dollars, and the original raiser is out of here. David is a game in domination nation and has called, and David has hit his queen jack for the two pair in the closing. Gabe is here, overjoyed. He's got top pair, top kicker. And by overjoyed, I mean he's actually in quite a bit of pain. That, that jalapeno pepper from the Jalapeno Pi Islands, he's starting to howl like the monkeys indigenous to that area. <laughs> Just like that, minus the screaming. 78. 78 behind. 78. Yeah, yeah. And he's thinking, <laughs> the silence. he's thinking about betting, but also thinking that this hurts really bad. I really hope he either loses his hand or we get another $10 donation to hit him with something harder. <laughs> I feel an ace coming on the river. Check, check. Queen. Oh, yeah. uh, so, folks, uh, if you are sick and tired of, oh, hold up, we got, we got a, we got a loss at showdown. Oh. Punishment for Gabe, who decided to passively check with his queen here. He's no good and is going to be spinning that wheel again. We already saw him suffering through that uh, jalapeno pepper. Uh, let's see if we can hit him with something a little harder than than that. He says, oh god, oh god, and it lands on him. You got another jalapeno. Another jalapeno pepper. Would you like to hear my uh, fact about the howling monkey squirrel? Yeah, the howling monkey squirrel. So they stand at an usual average 10 feet. Uh, that's that's pretty big for it's, a squirrel-sized creature. Yeah, oh, monkey-sized squirrel. Oh, so It's not a squirrel-sized monkey, it's a monkey-sized monkey -sized squirrel. squirrel. Okay, I, I, the ones I saw when I was there must have been babies. Mm, right, right, right. Cumulative winnings here say that Gabe's only up two hundred dollars. That's yeah, he has a thousand in front of him. He's up uh, buckets. Gotcha. I believe is the scientific term. Uh, metric buckets. 
Uh, now, uh, at this point in time, I would like to let the chat know, if you're sick of Gabe dodging every spicy pepper with that wheel, a $20 donation lets you pick whatever pepper you want to inflict on any player at the table. So if you're tired of the randomness, you just want to cut straight to the chase, $20 donation, tie pepper to Gabe, Gabe will cry very, very much in pain. Uh, and it's ten dollars for milk, so we can also watch him lose money to pay for milk. That dollar, th those ten dollars do go into the bomb. Meanwhile, uh, David has raised fifteen dollars with Ace Jack suited. Bowen is in this hand, apparently still, with uh, six four suited. Gabe here with Queen Jack suited. And uh, we are going to a flop, Diamond Diamond. Very good for David. He's almost certainly going to bet his flush drop here. I think he'll jam. With $245 into yes. a pot of 47, he's going to jam? Here? I think so. I really, really do. No one here with top pair, which could be good. I uh, really but do. Gabe has, Gabe has let out with just, Queen Jack offsuit. Just makes the call. Just makes the call. And uh, he's just calling it. <laughs> bad card for David here. Really bad card for David here because he sees uh, boats that could happen. They're, they're a possibility. He's scared of those with his flush. Gabe is once again bet $35. David says, I'm not scared of you. I want my flush and misses. The backdoor hearts get there, which nobody has. And David is now good with ace high. But, Someone buy Chacha Pepper! Oh, Gabe <laughs> says long. some... Or sorry, not Gabe. Greg says <laughs> somebody <laughs> buy Chacha Pepper. Or he's hiding in the corner. Chachington is uh, allergic to peppers. And if somebody donated uh, $20 and gave him a Thai chili pepper, he would probably have to take his shirt off just to survive. Yeah! Wait, 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 wait. Are you serious? Bell Pepper. I'll take a bell. Gabe lost that hand uh, to ace high and is eating a bell pepper because he, even when he runs bad, he runs good. He just can't be beaten. Uh, so once again, folks, uh, Greg asking for a bell pepper, sorry, pardon me, a pepper to be bought for Chutchington because Chutchington is sitting there uh, pretending like he doesn't exist, really just hoping that he doesn't suffer uh, anymore. Uh, Gabe sitting on almost a thousand dollars in a one dollar one dollar one hundred dollar max buying game and he has yet to consume anything hotter than the jalapeno pepper of eight thousand scopes Ooh, it's hot it's uh it is toasty in the room i think that's thematic because we're it's hot out there it's hot in here is the heat on or is, what's going on i hope not uh we've got a hand going on here folks and uh just as soon as the hand is started, we'll know what those cards are. But until then, let's guess. Gabe's sitting here with two playing cards. He's chatting a lot, sniffing, wiping his shirt on his face. Greg here, looking like he wants to fold by moving his cards back and forth in a these cards suck motion. Uh, that's a live read that uh, doesn't actually work. And it looks like Old Man Coffee, it has folded to Old Man Coffee who raises to $3. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an important announcement to make. Greg is playing a hand. Greg is in a hand. Red alert. Red alert. Greg is in a hand with Queen 10 offsuit. If this was GG Poker, Club GG, Greg would be kicked off the table for having under 20 VPEP. No, I think he still has a 25% VPEP. Does he? Yeah. We just don't play a lot of hands here because everyone goes all in every hand. That is true. <laughs> We, I think we've had a hand that. that didn't go all in. That last one didn't go. It didn't all go that immediately. That is true. That is true. It only took an hour. <laughs> it only took an hour. Uh, Chuchin three bets here with King Ten wow, offsuit. Look at this. We've got a call and a call. Of course, Old Man Coffee has to come along for the ride because his cards are suited. It's a trip. He has made trips. Wow. And if you uh, don't know the difference between trips and a set, you should watch the video that uh, Greg put out. Yeah, it's a very good lesson. Okay, that will get you beat up. No, it's a very quick fold from there. And Chuch has called with his wow. king nine. Wow, 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 Chuch wow. just really wants to play poker. He's like, I'm sick of not playing this game. Old man coffee now with a 98% uh, equity here. But the uh, trip sevens could get counterfeit by a jack on the river. Was it all in the trap? Um, Old man coffee's gone all in. Please educate me here. How yeah. does he have 2% VPIP? 2% equity. <laughs> equity, sorry. If a jack comes on the river, yep. then it's a chop. 
Uh, yeah. Because it would be a jacks full of sevens, and the extra seven wouldn't matter. Fantastic, that's correct. So Chutchington drawing to a chop here. Wow. And nothing else. Drawing to a chop. We got it. someone in the chat here. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, how, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Hey, Vic. <laughs> Chutch plays one hand and runs into trips. He has made a call, it looks like. He says, Makes up and over. Call. Oh, no. I've got nothing. This is a Let's bad see spot if he can to hit be. Jack. He has nope. missed his uh, two-outer and wow. will lose to trip sevens, which has turned a boat. We're going down the river, and the river is ending up in pain for Chutchington. Which means we're going to see uh, also, he loses some money. having a pepper. Ooh, I'm excited. If it's anything better, th higher than, than the, the Jalapeno, I think he's going to start to really suffer because he's allergic to peppers. Yes, fun fact. Uh, Chuch is allergic to peppers and he's lactose intolerant. So he can't have milk. He to... can't have milk. That's a... And he's allergic to the peppers. It's a double threat right there. So That's not what you want in a game that's about eating peppers and drinking milk. Pick the right one. You're going to be dead. Pick the right one. I'm not sure which one this is. It's either the oh, it's the it's the jalapeno. Okay. So he should jalapenos. be safe here on the jalapeno from the jalapeno islands. He's nodding his head up and down. Uh, table says ah, it doesn't happen right away. It's it's not too bad. It's just eight thousand scoples. Again, these are the these are the same peppers that people like to put in their pockets. Mm. Yes, unless unless you're me. Oh, what do you put your peppers in? No, I put my tacos, I put ketchup and cheese in my tacos. Did you learn that from the Jalapenos Islands? Yes. Where I was homeschooled. You were homeschooled in the Jalapenos Islands? I was. Really? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Old Man Coffee here with <laughs> nine deuce to call, uh, nine deuce offsuit. Uh, pretty uh, garbage hand. They're not even suited. He's probably making the fold here, and he does like a regular Old Man Coffee would. Uh, Greg with 9-7 suited. He says $3. I want to play this hand. At alert, alert. Greg is in another hand. And he's not even playing good cards. We have some exciting news. Oh. We are going to be playing an Orbit of PLO after this hand. Ooh, that is exciting news. Good exciting for your uh, Royal Flush Outs. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to switch over to the switcher for that. So I'm going to pass the mic over to Jay to join the commentary. All right. Jay is thrilled about this news. He's, he's jumping he's, off the seat. Uh, he's actually crying so with excited. tears of joy. He's thrilled. He's I've never seen him happier begging. before. He's begging me. <laughs> he, he says, is, okay. He's provided a shrug of approval. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. We got we to gotta switch our mics around, and we'll be right back. One fourth a pot. What is that? Is this tournament or something? I said pressure. Alrighty, I think we're back. I hope we're back. Uh, we've got a lot of players uh, along here. We've got David here with the uh, top pair. Good kicker. That's probably going to hold. And it will be the best hand. It looks like we're checking around. Check. Greg has checked. And no, Gabe says no, not for free. I'm going to take a stab at this pot. Maybe everyone missed. Maybe they didn't. We'll soon find out. <laughs> Bowen is in the tank here with her middle pair. That five is not a great card for her middle pair because it means that there's one fewer five left in the deck for somebody else to have to call with. So she's got to be thinking of a fold, and she does. And uh, David here with top pair, decent kicker, thinking, oh no, what if Gabe hit his five? But David loves to call, so he's either going to call or jam, because he's obviously playing the handout. And we'll go up and over, and Gabe says, oh no, what was I doing? I didn't hit, but I still bet. What am I doing? I thought that I hit. I thought I was invincible. Nah, but good pop for him. Tried to bluff against three other people. Yeah, he did. He tried to bluff into three other people, um, two of whom are absolute calling stations and would have called with bottom pair. Or worse. Or worse. You're right. They, they might have called with ace high there. Maybe. They might have called with king high there. But he tried. He tried and he gets punished with a frickin' bell pep. Are you kidding me? This man, even when he loses, he wins. 
Uh, once again, uh, Chad just reminded that if you lose at Showdown, you eat a pepper. There's a wheel of peppers. You could hit the bell pepper for no spice. You could hit a, a jalapeno or jalapeno pepper. There's also serranos, which are quite a bit spicier, and Thai chilies, which are known to make people claw their faces off in pain. Uh, $10 donation from chat has pe any player at the table spin the wheel to see if they have to eat a pepper. And a $20 donation in chat has you skip the wheel entirely and just say, hey, you get to eat a pepper. It's the one I pick. You forgot about the milk. Oh yeah, also players are allowed to buy themselves milk. We're in PLO land now, which means uh, <laughs> Greg's hand of ace, king, 10, eight, all clubs is not very good. He's blocking himself twice. Is that a donation I see? Hold up, I... Whoa. Gotta get this... Zoom in on my phone here. Yeah, oh, we're getting the donation read up in one second. We got Schuler Distelzweig for $20. That's it. Tie for game. Edison. Thank you so, so much for the donation. donation. Thank you, Livia. Another, another donation. donation. Thai chili pepper for Gabe. And we got another donation. $10. Livia, pepper for Greg. Okay, so we're going to get that. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. And thank you even more for punishing Gabe. He, he really he needs to be taken down several pegs. This is just unacceptable. No, that was red chili for you. They doubled the price. Oh, they doubled the price. $20. Okay, it looks like we're playing a PLO hand here. Is this looks like a bomb pot, so everyone's still in this hand. I, I think it was just a regular pot. Everyone just decided to call. But so it might have been a bomb pot. Well, either way, there is a lot of people and a lot of hands have no idea who's ahead. Yeah, uh, according to the little numbers there, uh, Gabe is somehow fucking still ha what the f no 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 there's a 49 percent from david oh okay I, I can't read thank god yeah somebody other than gabe has equity here we got some folds we got four players left in the hand they all call around for a six dollar bet the pot is now thirty dollars and we are going to a turn which comes the ass of spad Ooh, it puts a flush draw for old man coffee but is dominated by Gabe's flush draw, but holding three spades here. Yeah. Chutchington blocking another one of the spades. There's not a lot of spades left in the deck uh, for those flush outs. And David's still here with bottom set. That looks to be good. Oh, no. Worth noting that the 10 and 9 of spades are both not in the deck. So there's no chance of a flush draw getting hit on the river that gets counterfeit by a boat. So our reverse implied odds are quite low. Yeah, like oh, David ends up folding? David is folding the best hand to Old Man Coffee's $30 bet when he saw his ace. Oh my, oh my god. David folds and the flush oh, gets the flush there. Gets David gets away cheap. Cheap, cheap. Old Man Coffee has hit his flush, but Gabe has hit a better flush. you got to assume that a lot of this money is going to get in the pot here. Chutchington here with two pair, probably folding. There we go, and Old Man Coffee gets the bad news and another pepper. He has made him better straight. Old Man Coffee is going to be going to Pain Town. David says, I was way better. I had a set, but he got away cheap somehow. Somehow he found that fold there. Let's see which pepper. Oh, I hear Greg saying ooh, so. That's the bad one. That's the pain cup. Thai chili pepper. How much Scoville is that, do you know? That's uh, 100,000 Scovilles. 100,000. So for the, Scovilles are scaled linearly. Uh, the, hel the jalapeno or jalapeno pepper has about 8,000 Scovilles. So uh, if you divide 100,000 by 8, you get how many times more spicy the Thai is, which is a lot. It is a lot. At least 10 times spicier than a single jalapeno. Do you know what is pretty sick? I was scheduled to play this game. Yeah. I am pretty glad I'm not in it. Yeah, you'd be dying. I would be dying. Greg is in pain too, it looks like. I would not. So Garrett will Gabe. take over for the commentary in one minute. Gabe, Gabe, I think, is supposed to be eating... Did Gabe eat his Thai chili pepper? He looks like he's totally fine. 
He ate it uh, during his hand. Too. And he's just totally fine, cool as a cucumber. What the heck? That means we just need to keep on hammering. Yeah, him this man can't be stopped. With chili peppers until he can't. I, I appreciate that that attitude from from Jay. That's the way to do it. If you do, at first and you don't succeed, tie tie again. And told Greg to eat a pepper. He just would. Even if I don't mention a donation. Okay, so Garrett has just suggested to just walk out the door and say, Garrett, sorry, not Garrett, Greg, eat a pepper. Okay, but you yeah. can do that. Okay. But if Greg asks if it was a donation, yes. you have to say no. You have to say oh. no, and then yeah. you have to eat a Thai pepper. Oh. No, I, <laughs> okay, just, I, won't do it. I can't do spice at all. Or, okay, Garrett okay, okay. says he can't do spice at all. What about you eat a uh, meanwhile, pepper? I'll eat meanwhile, we yeah. are in a hand here. Gabe with ace, five, jack, three, double suited. Suited to the ace and suited to the jack. Uh, Chachin Chin here with ace, queen, nine, deuce, triple diamond. That extra diamond, not so great. Bowen here with ace, queen, deuce, deuce, and one of them is suited. Suited to the ace. We got a lot of really nutted flush draws here. David with queen, jack, ten, three. Nice and connected. The queen and the jack are suited. You gotta assume that a lot of these players are gonna wanna be betting or seeing a flop. So we're gonna probably see a lot of players there. Uh, Garrett's... Someone donated again. Oh, oh somebody actually did Someone donate actually again. Someone actually donated again. <laughs> Thank you so, so much to oh. Livia again. I think Greg wants another. He did want another. Thank you so much, Livia. Thank you for supporting the stream. Uh, so Greg does have this this tell. When he wants to squeeze somebody, he starts chewing on his on his Invisalign. Um, and it, it makes a kind of... How much for Garrett to eat a... Teeth sound? How much for Garrett to eat what? A Thai pepper. A Thai pepper? Garrett yep. says... Garrett's shaking his hand and his eyes look like a sad puppy dog. Yeah, Garrett. Two hundred dollars. Garrett's so priced himself at two hundred. Right. Only two hundred dollars. Wow. Well, Garrett's no, he said it. He said it. Sorry, at two hundred dollars. That's a pretty good price. Garrett will eat a Thai chili pepper and we'll get a close up on one of the cameras on of screen. his face. He says, of his face. I will die. Uh, I think it's a bad price. Yeah, but <laughs> but I thought that was you, a part of the but story. you also said that. You would give me ten dollars at the end of the stream unless a royal came. So clearly, you're not a financial wizard. But I, don't, I can't even do sriracha. Uh, Garrett says he can't even eat sriracha. <laughs> so if Garrett eats a Thai chili pepper, he might actually die. Well, he won't actually. Die. Are you lactose intolerant, Garrett? Yeah. He says yes. He's lactose inter intolerant. So he yeah. can't. So I can't drink milk. Drink milk. No milk. No milk. After it, eating the Thai it chili might pepper. be worth your stomach to. Just drink the milk. To drink the milk anyways. <laughs> anyway, Greg here with the best hand. 9-8 uh, offsuit. It's just a straight. Somehow we got here with a, just a straight. There are so many scarier hands out there that could be betting on this board. The pot is pretty big. Checks around and Greg's gonna flip over the best hand. Greg just mucked the winning hand? He just threw his hand in the middle. That usually means that it's mucked. Wait, can you can you go double check yeah. with that? Yeah, Ask, can you with the dealer? Oh, we're just checking one with second. the dealer. <laughs> yep, Greg mucked the winning hand because Greg is really really good at poker, and now he realizes it. And the pain that he feels now will be more than the pain of the pepper he's about to consume. Okay. So Welcome to Greg's game where he folds the best hand. And he's spinning the wheel and getting a pepper for it. Gets to punished for being a darn fool. Anyone can misread their hand, but in PLO, if you make it to showdown, you're supposed to flip your cards over and let the dealer tell you what to do. Uh, they cheers, he gets to eat a pepper, he loses some money. Did Gabe win that hand? Gabe, Gabe won a hand that he had 0% equity in. Okay, now we're gonna get Garrett back on the mic. Garrett Gabe just Gabe is so good. Gabe, Gabe won with zero percent equity. <laughs> Gabe just won with zero percent equity. He had the worst he had a worse hand on the turn than Greg and won the hand anyway. What an absolute sicko. Oh my god. What a monster. That's ridiculous. How does he do it? What such skillful, incredible gameplay. That will definitely make its way to YouTube. That will go down in the annals of history. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Cheers to that. Judging and opening up wow. pieces, and one of them suited. But he is what blocking. A beautiful hand. He's still gonna play it because it's aces. Turns out aces still pretty good in PLO. PLO. Aces with ace suited to the king. Well, he is blocking that suit, but still, aces. Oh, barely. That's a good hand. And it's you know ace ace king is ace king. Uh, now we see the other hands that have gotten the heck out of it. Some people have folded game checks. Chutchington gets there, I assume, to win a bet here. There's no way Chutchington no is just going to check here. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> one more for Greg. Livia, thank you so much. Livia, you truly are just a wonderful human being. I hope that you walk outside and you find... Twenty dollars on the street. <laughs> I, I hope that when when you when you get home, your your pillow, you, you go to bed tonight, your pillow is nice and cool on both sides oh, for the entire sweet. night. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's just wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Meanwhile, Chutchington has the option here. He's obviously going to bet because he's got aces and one of them suited to the king. Did he call? Did he just? No, he bet. Oh, Vic asking, what peppers do we have? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Gary, do you want to take this one? <laughs> I wish I knew. Okay, then uh, <laughs> uh, we've got the bell pepper at zero Scoville. We've got the jalapeno or jalapeno pepper at 8,000 Scovilles. We've got the serrano pepper at 25,000, about three times hotter than a jalapeno. And then we've got the Thai chili pepper. That's the little teeny tiny red one that looks like a angry fingernail. Gabe hitting quads. <laughs> Gabe is unstoppable. Oh my god. <laughs> Greg says, cough and I'm dying, all in one motion. Uh, Gabe has wow. quads here. A and anyway, the Thai chili pepper has a Scoville of 100,000. Wow. Gabe, unbelievably, just banking everything. Even Bank. when he has 0% equity, he will find a way to bank. He has won hands that are quite literally unwinnable. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That is just fantastic stuff. Gabe sitting with a stack that's... 10x what he started 11x i think we've seen quads in every single one of greg's games so far wow that's actually a really that's a true statistic i think right el slapo el slapo hit quads and uh, checked all the way down to the river yeah so that he could slap five people <laughs> gabe here hitting quads and thinking maybe i want to make money with them and uh, old man coffee did in fact call and is now licking his lips in some degree of pain, he kind of looks like a donkey chewing on hay, mm. which is appropriate because his play is like that of a donkey. Vic saying, I want to donate, but don't want to spin. Ah, that's a good, so if you don't want to spin, you just want to donate a pepper of your choosing, it's a $20 donation. You pick a player, you say, you're eating this pepper, and they just have to take it. David with the luxurious 6-9, there's going to be some... I'm so sorry. Did I just see that correctly? Did he fold 6-9? David folded 6-9. And one of them was suited, too. One of them was suited. What a moron. What a moron. <laughs> old man coffee here with uh, seven deuce suited. Uh, seven deuce game not live in PLO, unfortunately, uh, because it would be impossible to really figure out. Uh, you don't have to play the seven and the deuce. It's just not as fun. Uh, and we are five-handed. So everyone other than our resident play every hand man, David, is in this hand. Uh, it looks like very even odds all the way across the board. Yeah, well. Currently, Gabe with that king is the best hand, but everyone's obviously checking it around, testing out the water, seeing if they can make any better. Like <coughs> saying, I, I can donate $10. But I want to force people to not fold pre-flop. You could probably give that ten dollar donation to uh, to uh, David, and um, ninety percent of the time, even if you didn't donate, he'd he'd still not fold pre-flop. What we can do for you there, Vic? We can we can work something out because you, you want to do on. that. Yeah, I could donate ten dollars, but I want to force people to not fold pre-flop. If you tell us who, and you pick David or Gabe, 
I think there's a good chance. I think you could you could tell us happening. you could ask ask who and, and we oh could see God. if they're okay with a ten dollar donation to force them to play for you. This is very true. But I want Jonathan Lee. Someone get that OMC a coffee with a Thai chili mixed in. <laughs> oh wow! That's disgusting. Jonathan. I love it, Jonathan. That's devilish. All righty. Uh, we're gonna get that set up right for you. Old man coffee will be eating a Thai chili coffee. Olivia, that is correct. A $20 donation, and Greg eats the hottest pepper as yes. many times as you want. So, that's right. Yeah. Five separate $20 ones. Yeah. And you can get them to eat five in a row. That is true. And uh, Do you want content? The yeah, Matt's content. We, I have watched Greg eat a Thai chili pepper before. He, he sampled them all before the game to make sure that they were uh, manageable, and he literally cried. Perhaps we can do something really cruel here. We can maybe get everybody to time a donation at the same time. Oh my god. So that... He has to eat all five at once. All of them eat... Yeah, so Greg has to eat the peppers all at once. So the time is currently 6.50. At 7 o'clock? At 7 o'clock. Everyone donates... Everybody, if you were planning to donate, donate what you can, $20, $10, anything. Specifically for Greg, or even less. Yeah, and even less works. We're just going to add all the numbers up together, and wow. throw, as long as you say for Greg, we'll throw it all together in one big giant number. I love it. I love it. So, if you want to see Greg suffer, 7 p.m. You know, let's make it sooner, just because it's 6:51, and I have zero patience. 6:55. 6:55. So four minutes from now. So four minutes from now. It's like in the next hand. Four minutes from now. Let's see how many donations we can get for Greg to eat a pepper. And then in four minutes, we will break the news to him yeah, that he has, he has to eat, to eat X amount of peppers. A whole Hopefully five. That would be, that'd be, that'd be pretty fun. That would be amazing. Hopefully more than five. Uh, XVix says, all is okay. All in blind, too brutal. Now. Yeah, if, if, you, if you donated for a straddle, I think that's reasonable. Force a player to straddle, and we can make them play out of position. If mm. $10 force them to straddle. We can ask maybe, them if they're okay. We could probably. That's probably fine. Anyway, Greg here with aces, and one of them's even suited. Wow. You gotta assume that he's gonna be. Ra oh, he did. He raised to five dollars initially, and five dollars or four dollars. Five dollars initially, and old man coffee is thinking, oh, it's just four dollars. I can call that. Just want to be clear. Ten dollars is the minimum donation for a pepper. Correct? Ten dollars for a pepper is currently the minimum donation. Okay. There we go. We Hoping for a handful. We got our first one from Matt. Thank you so much. That's awesome. That's, that's one pepper for Greg. Add all of it together. And if we need to extend the deadline to 7 o'clock to get uh, more pepper carnage, <laughs> we, we will. will. We definitely oh, will. If there's one thing we can promise you, we will ensure that the maximum amount of pain is inflicted on the host <laughs> of the show. So that's going to be one pepper for Greg. Let's take a look at the poker that's happening here. We got a five-handed Making it to a flop. Greg here flop. with suited aces and misses every one of those wow. suits, so he's just here with aces. Uh, Chunchington has uh, found a boat, which is unbelievable. a pretty damn good spot to be in. Great spot. you got to assume Greg is going to bet here with his aces uh, as a continuation bet, and Chunchington's going to say, yeah, I'm going to go all in. Or is that a call? I think he's all in for $75. He is all in for $75. Oh, my God. Or 70 Oh, my God. Okay, $70? wait. I had a panic attack. Something. It's equivalent for ten dollars. <laughs> just read, sorry, I just read one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> it is in IDR, which I'm actually interested in knowing. Wow! Wow! Nice. Wow. Right. Force Thank you so much. Ten dollars, Sobrino. Who's Sobrino? That's the pepper. Oh, Wait. Sobrino. No, Serrano. Serrano? But ten, who's forcing the straddle? Is everyone straddling? We just do a bomb pot? Uh, that would get this is something that you were suggesting. I think you, you, you were mentioning. Well, I thought that we were going to force one player to straddle, but we could force all players to straddle. Anyway, Chachington here with his uh, bottom boat, which is, of course, good because it's a boat. I was just going to say, folding boats. Request for a bomb pot. Yeah, that makes sure. sense. Yeah. Folding boats is bad. Don't fold boats. In PLO, you might be able to find a fold for a boat, but generally speaking, if you have a boat, just don't find it. Is everyone in for bomb pot? All right, you have your wish. Everyone is in for a bomb pot. Dollar bomb pot. Everyone will put money in, and everyone will see a flop next hand. Oh no no no! 
Uh, just a reminder, we are Left. still hoping for some more donations to punch Greg in the face with peppers. Uh, for every uh, every uh, milestone we get, we will throw peppers at him. We'll throw the spiciest pepper we can at him for every $20 increment we hit. You can donate any amount, and we will throw it into a nice big pile. Go back. When we hit a reasonable amount, we'll throw it all out at once. We're hoping to get that by 7 o'clock. Can one of you guys do the coffee? Uh, yeah. Wow, we are amazing. making up that coffee another for Old Man Coffee. Thank you, Jonathan Lee, for that uh, coffee donation. Yeah. Incredible. Another donation. And another one. Guys, this is going to be incredible. This is amazing. This is, there's another one after this coming oh in. Oh my god. Greg gets the hottest pepper. Can this be a pot splash? And Greg that eats a pepper. Guys, this is fantastic. Right now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is four peppers for Greg. Uh, 20, or three? There's three peppers for Greg. Three peppers for Greg. Three peppers and we're eight bucks away from an extra pepper. This is fantastic. This is amazing. Guys, we are uh, so close to getting Greg four peppers all at once. So Matt, for that pot splash, all the money that we get is actually going to go, uh, one third of it is going to go into a bomb pot at the end of the stream. So at uh, eight o'clock-ish, There'll be a bomb pot with all of the donations. So it will get splashed into the pot, just not quite yet. Greg here with King Queen 10 3 on this board. He has a backdoor straight draw and a backdoor flush draw. And not much else. There are also other players in the hand. They have four cards each because it's Pot Love in Omaha. And uh, some of those cards might there even be better. Great. Uh, and this is a oh, double no. board bomb pot, no, apparently. No, go back, just go back. Oh, sorry. Second one gets it's, a, it's a double board yeah. bomb pot, yeah. which means board. we play two boards, and the winner of the top board wins half, okay. and the winner yeah, of the bottom board wins the other half. We're not quite sure what people's hands are, but we can speculate what we'd like them to be. Uh, eights looks pretty good here. Eights gives them a set on both boards. Uh, a ace and a deuce, or a deuce and a six gives a straight on the top board. There's a rainbow on both, so there's not a lot of flushes getting here. Hopefully we can get Aids them would to be great. Re scan Having cards. good cards like we aces would be pretty yeah. reasonable on this. We are requesting for those cards to be re-read so that we can see them all. And there we go. Oh, now we know what's going on. Now we know what's going on. David has woken up to Jack four, Jack ten at four deuce, and uh, has a Jack on the bottom board, which is somehow the best hand. Everyone else here, Chattington with sevens. Gabe with one eight, which is good for top pair on the top board and middle pair on the bottom board. Uh, Bowen with the other eight, so no eights left to draw into here. And uh, we will see a turn, and then we'll see another turn. So one card will be burned, and we see the first turn, which is an ace for this board and then a uh, nine for the top board ignore the graphic and please instead pay attention to our cam shot of the board you can also ignore all the equity percentages if you're doing what i do when i play pot limit omaha you're closing your eyes praying very hard and uh, ignoring everything to do with math just kind of hoping that it works out Uh, we're having a minor graphical glitch, uh, but don't worry about that. Instead, focus on who you want to win, because again, it's Pot Limit Omaha, and your prayers and wishes have a real impact on the game. Yeah, double board is not an easy thing for somebody to run on the first time on Switcher, so we just ask for some patience. Go Edison. Thank you, Ezra. Yeah, thank you, Ezra. Now, the players out there are praying for cards. We are praying for more donations <clears> to <throat> make Greg eat a whole bunch of peppers all at the same time. Currently, we are at three. Thirty three peppers. Three peppers and eight bucks away from the next pepper. Eight dollars away from the next pepper. Can we get him to hit four peppers all at once? With one of those peppers being the Has hottest. to be the tie. Has, to be, has the to be the tie. He spins for the others, but yes. one of them has to be a tie. That is correct. We make him do the tie last, obviously. <laughs> yes, exactly. So any donations coming in will we'll we'll add up to that at 7 p.m., which is one minute away, so any second now. 
I'm going to go out there and bring Greg the bad news, but the good news for us. Yeah, if we can get an $8 donation between now and then, we get it up to four peppers. Four peppers. That's bam, 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 bam. That's pretty brutal. That's unbelievable. Right now he's standing up and talking about his game that he runs in his apartment. <laughs> he brings his friends over and lets him play cards with them. And we don't want that. We want him to suffer while that happens. Exactly. Because we're correct. friends. That is correct. It's going to be a chop pot. Ah, it's very, very common. Touching 10. Guys, a few seconds left. Is there any eight dollar donation? Any eight dollar donation? It's currently seven p.m. I'll, I'll I'll just do it for thirty more seconds. An eight dollar donation will get Greg to eat four peppers right now yep. on the spot. It'd be pretty fun. We've been saving them up. We have been saving them up so that he has them all at once. <laughs> just to fill in Addison, we've been saving up the last. 10 minutes of donations. They're all for Greg. So he's going to eat four peppers right now. Are you doing that? <laughs> I we just, we have I think we just convinced our uh, current <laughs> graphic expert to donate some extra money. <laughs> so shout dollars. out to Edison. Eight dollars is all we need. Yeah, eight dollars is gonna get us there. Uh, we're gonna throw four peppers at Greg. He's gonna spin the wheel three times and then he's gonna eat a Thai chili pepper. That's unbelievable. We are back to regular pot limit Omaha. And again, we're just waiting on that $8 donation before we throw a whole bunch of pain in Greg's way. He has no idea this is coming. We decided on these rules before consulting him. Uh, and so uh, if you want to watch Greg cry, that's, that's probably going to happen. This is very, very exciting. I know it's coming in. I feel it. We said 7 p.m. I won't go any longer. I'm just going to wait until I see that $8 dono when we got four peppers going into his mouth immediately, with one of them being the hottest pepper. He's going to die. Mouthwatch. Mouthwatch. Uh, Greg here with tens and a suited ace. That's actually really, really nice. So very, very solid hand here. Uh, all, all, for those of you who don't know how pot limit Omaha works, like me, uh, first off, you have to bet in increments of the pot, and you get four cards. You have to use exactly two of them. But uh, hands that are really nice are usually hands that are suited aces, because you get nut flush draws, or pairs, because you have set and boat draws. So those are the kinds of hands that usually take pots down, they win those hands, and uh, make you lots of money. Hands that go down in value are hands that are triple suited, so uh, hands that have diamonds times three, because they, they, you block your own, your own drops. It is, it is well past seven, and I think we will, we, we will keep it at the three peppers. The three peppers? I think we will, because, our, you know, I want to our viewers need to, exactly what we've done Our here, viewers so. need to see what they pay for. I will go share the news. All right. Garrett is uh, out sharing some very exciting news. Thank you so much for sponsoring the pain train. Uh, if you would like to continue to sponsor the pain train, you of course can. Uh, it's $10 for uh, a pepper for any player. $20, you get to pick that pepper. $10 if you want to give some poor person milk so that they'll stop suffering, uh, if you want to do that. And I believe for $200, for $200, uh, Garrett said that he would eat a Thai chili pepper. He is uh, terrible with spice. Uh, he uh, can't eat sriracha, the sauce. So if you want to watch Garrett die in a fire of his own mouth, then you can. Flop comes, king of five for all hearts. David has flopped the flush, and with all the other players in the game not having two hearts in their hand, they're not making a heart flush. I'm not making a flush at all. It's not happening. Uh, as you can see, David has 96% equity. He's almost certainly winning this hand. But he has bet a pot-sized bet, which is going to get most people to fold. It's going to get everybody to fold. He will take the hand down. Uh, now Greg is beginning to consume his roulette of doom. Uh, Garrett has spun first, and I believe gave him a Serrano pepper. Uh, as you can see, Jonathan, uh, there is a coffee with a Thai chili pepper going into it. A Thai coffee. This is not at all how Thai coffees are made. But uh, Jonathan Lee, shout out. There's your pepper. 
old man coffee is drinking your coffee and has eaten your pepper and his face does not look like he didn't enjoy that it doesn't look like he had fun there coffee is mostly water which doesn't help pepper spice at all and makes it a lot worse by pushing those molecules around Uh, Garrett is um, hovering over Greg, who is already in obvious pain. Greg just trying to play poker here. <laughs> Garrett forcing him to consume more yeah, spicy so torture. Uh, and Greg has spun and landed on a bell pepper. Greg says, bell pepper, fuck you. Little does he know that the Thai chili pepper is coming last and will not help him at all. Did did Greg eat his tie? He's about to. He's about to eat his tie. He's having a second pepper right now. He's having a second pepper, which was bell pepper. But don't worry, the Thai chili pepper is coming. Uh, the flop has come six seven six, and I have no idea what anyone's cards are on. Let's speculate. I think somebody here has sevens for uh, for top boat, but somebody else has sixes for quads, and it's going to be just a big old cooler. Maybe. Some, uh, looks like a can open here. <laughs> Hold up. The mic's on the table. Can the <laughs> that was can opening ASM ASMR. Wow, that was, that was, that was good. All right, so uh, a flush comes in. It doesn't matter. Somebody has a boat here. So it's going to be flushing to boat, probably, um, even though I have no idea what anyone's cards are. Uh, looks like Old Man Coffee has folded, so he didn't have the flush or the boat. And uh, Bowen is all in. Wow, all in with four no cards. Four cards, four playing cards. Unbelievable. Incredible. David here thinking, I've also got playing cards. Really hoping that. No, oh, he's folded them. David is folded. Bowen, so, honestly, Bowen she played the hand correctly. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think about the hand that she played? There? If I had four playing cards there and I won the pot, uh, mm -hmm. I would immediately say after the fact that I played it right, because like, I, right. I won all the money. Right, and then how do you feel about David? David Obviously, with those four playing cards, I don't how think do you he think? can be folding in spots like that when he has right. draws still. Right, understood. Four draws. Wow. Yeah. Like, if he, if he gets his flush there, like... Yeah. Hey, this is why we do it. I love playing cards. Playing cards are my favorite cards to play with. They really are. And over here's Greg going for the tie. tie. He's got a milk too, so he spent $10 for that milk. He did. He did. Guys, can we get Greg to eat four more? <laughs> Greg is eating it. We've, I've seen it before. Oh, he doesn't seem to like it very much. Oh, he's not happy with that. Yeah. Oh, it that's is, not a thing. It is worth mentioning that a two hundred dollar donation, as as Garrett plies his uh, terror on on Greg, a two hundred dollar donation would get Garrett to eat a Thai chili pepper as well. The reason it's priced so high is because Garrett is uh, deathly afraid of peppers. If he eats one, he may actually pass away. He you know may... the sweet chili heat chips. The yeah, Miss Vicky's, the Miss Vicky's sweet chili sour cream. I, I eat, I cry eating those. The, the sweet, the ones? sweet chili, the ones that have sweet in the name. Yeah, I cry. I can't you cry. It. And I'm, I'm, I'll start hiccuping. <laughs> I wish I had two hundred dollars right now. <laughs> I really do. Well, thank God no one does. Okay, only coffee taking it down with the tens. Fantastic stuff. How's Ezra Parker? Ezra, Ezra Parker. Parker. Going on. How's it going? Oh, we're back to we're back to a game that makes sense. We're back to Texas Hold'em. I met Hold someone Texas the other day, Hold Ezra, and they said if they had a dog, they would name it Ezra. So that's not a very good dog name. Hey, but the dog would be good at ballroom, so yeah, probably. Did you know that Ezra Parker is the BC ballroom champion? That's unbelievable. He's the best ballroom dancer. He and, and his just, and his partner are the best ballroom dancers. Just chilling in the chat in BC. Just that's hanging out. On, honestly, we got we got we got Chuchiton. We got some really famous people and Greg. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that, yeah, Chuchiton growing strong on YouTube with over three hundred thousand followers. And Go check them out. Chuchiton YouTube. For those of you who are not liked or subscribed to uh, uh, Greg Goes All In, uh, you should you should click on that that thumbs up button, that button that's got that little thumb that's pointing upwards, and uh, you know click on the little sub button, the little dingly bell, help us out, support support the channel. Wow, we got 51 view. That's awesome. 
51, that's great. That's awesome. I love that. Thanks so much for being here, everybody, and supporting the stream. Uh, David here with uh, Ace. And now the, the kicker does not matter because nobody else has an Ace. He has the best hand. Nobody else has a King. Greg is here thinking, David checked. No, David bet. I could fold here. No, he's going to show it down. He's going to show it down. They checked it all the way down. I think it might have been the smallest pot. Look at David checked it all the way down because of Pepper Theory Optimal. PTO wow. forces Greg and Pepper Theory Optimal. Gabe to eat a pepper. Greg has gone for another Thai chili pepper by losing this hand. Oh my god. And, and so Gabe has Gabe. Well. Wow. David here slow playing that ace so hard that both of his opponents are now in hell. Evil. Absolutely evil. Pure I mean, Gabe genius. not being in hell with his $1,200 stack in front of him. Okay, well, rich people, unbelievable. Suffer too sometimes. He's 10x. In this case, second place. Only in this case do rich people suffer. It's amazing. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You have like nothing behind, dude. What are you doing? Five bet. Oh, I got his queen off suit. This is such a bad spot. What do I do? I don't want to eat another pepper. My mouth's on fire. This is unbelievable. I think Abe will make the call. He's, he's reaching for his chips. He's going to go all in. He's going to go all in. Wow. Is there chips in the middle? I think he's made the call. Just made the call. Flats here. Omen Coffee. $57 behind. Like a cup of coffee behind. And no, Gabe. he's all in. Our, our numbers are wrong. Old Man Coffee is all in. Old Man Coffee, coffee is, is all, all in. in. And the flop comes. 989. One diamond, which doesn't matter because Old Man Coffee has a king. Wow, Maybe look at this. Diamonds. Gabe drawing to only a queen or an eight here for the chop. Oh man, he's gonna hit a queen. Some outs and misses. He doesn't. Wow. Yeah. That's the flush that would be good for Gabe if Old Man Coffee didn't have the ace of diamonds. Wow. Wow. And Amazing. Now, Gabe has lost a solid chunk of change there, and has to eat enough pepper. That is unbelievable. What yeah, a what a graphic is over the type of pepper that he has to eat. It looks it looks like a looks like a jalap jalapeno. Jalapeno. Jello. Jello Pino? Jello Pino? Or is it a Serrano? It's it's unclear. It is unclear. Gabe says, come on, I can I, I can do this all day. Gabe is an absolute beast on the felt. He just said yummy. He, he said, said yummy. Yummy. And now his face is contorting in pain. Oh, so this stream's a joke to him. Yeah, he's coughing. That's good. We got we got we, we got, got reaction out of him. There we go. Now would um, be a good time to remind the chat that a ten dollar donation does in fact uh, force any player at the table to spin the wheel of pepper. Twenty dollar donation skips the wheel completely. You just force the spiciest pepper that you like on any person at the table, and uh, a ten dollar donation gives some poor person a glass of milk to stop the suffering. Fifty dollar donation and everybody takes a pepper. Yep, fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Everybody gets Every a pepper. Every player spins the wheel for fifty bucks. Hundred dollars. Everyone gets a Thai chili pepper. Wow. And uh, two hundred dollars. Garrett gets a Thai chili pepper. Wow. And for a thousand dollars, Garrett will do five Thai chili peppers. All right. For a thousand. For a thousand dollars. Those are some expensive peppers. Oh no. <laughs> I, wait, did I say Garrett? I meant Greg. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said Garrett. I'm pretty sure it said Greg, but... Uh, I think we have it on video. I don't Garrett. think we have it on video. <laughs> I don't think Together, we have Garrett it. and Greg for $1,000. Ooh, brilliant. Uh, Bowen here with Ace Jack offsuit. David with Jack 10 that he 3-bet. 
Uh, he's again dominated. We've seen a lot of hands where people get dominated because people just yeah, love to yeah. play lots of hands. Bowen, Bowen here reaching for chips, thinking ace jack on a continuation bet. Probably reasonable to play, but it had checked back to her. Nope, she's in small line. Gonna see a four here. Four. Again, David with nothing. They've just got some high cards here looking at nada. Eleven ounce, it's not, it's but not bad. A deuce or a seven would be a straight here, so Bowen's probably thinking, I don't really want to bet it. No, I lied. Bowen's thinking I want to bet it. Yes, I'm flipping it over. They're both all in. What the heck happened? Oh he folded. He folded. He folded. He's not they're not both all He's in. He's not all in. He folded. Wow. I, I'm not used to David taking folding lines. Honestly, I, I He failed origami class. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that one set for a second. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to Greg's game if you're just tuning in. Uh, <laughs> Greg's game, uh, $1, $1, $1, $100 max buy-in game. But if you lose at Showdown, you eat a pepper. If and milk is $10. If someone donates $10,000, I will eat every single pepper. That's not going to happen. Yeah. I would die, right? No, you wouldn't die. No, I wouldn't die? You would hurt yourself. Probably. Yeah, oh. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't eat. Wait, Garrett, you know that you know that Greg bought more than just the peppers and the cups, right? Yeah, yeah. That that's David. like a lot of peppers. With ace jack off. David with ace jack off. Three bet the twenty five. Three bets naturally. Chuchington has called with five four off suit. That can't be right. Chuchington is really playing his. I'm so bored and have been card dead range. Six is good for him. The ace is something for him. He's got some backdoor draws here, but that's about it. And the four does bring in an extra out, but David has hit his ace here, so David's just going to keep barreling. Chuch to just keep on, slamming Chuch, that call on, button, Chuch. and Chuch has missed completely. Yeah, yeah. I definitely not. We don't feel like that. And there's Chuch for a pepper three optimal, and Chuch is thinking, ah, uh, nuts. How did I get myself in this position? I want to bet money. He's checking it back. He's like, oh, nuts. I've got a four. What an evil play. David is really starting to embody pepper theory optimal here That's by hilarious. checking it down with the best hand. Chuch is, uh, once again, allergic to peppers. Jalapeno, jalapeno for Chuchington. This may be the least spicy thing that he can, the most spicy thing, rather, that he can actually stomach. He is allergic to peppers. David was 76 feet pip. That's it's impressive, but pretty good. we've seen El Slapo. El Slapo was more of a legend than a poker player. <laughs> El Slapo is a god. Gabe has embodied El Slapo's just hit mentality, though. He's really maxed out his... Um, Making the best hand or not, and still winning. Mm. Uh, Jalapeno Island, of course, uh, being the hometown of El Slapo. Yeah, J Jalapa no, J El Slapo is from El, El Slapador, which is right. closely which is just the sister city exactly. to J Jalapa, the Jalapagos Islands. Uh, there you can find at the Jalapeno Island, dead center, a massive statue of El Slapo. Of El Slapo, really. Oh, because he went there and then won the slapping tournament with the with the howling. Uh, yes. Yeah. Not to be confused with Epstein's Island. So. No, that's that's a that's a much more fucked up island. Thank you, Garrett, for for ruining this this tender moment we had. Chuchington's raised to fifty dollars, and Bowen is uh, thinking about calling. No, Bowen's out of here. She's she's gone. A, a reasonable, disciplined fold. David has called with. Eight flops. <laughs> oh my God! He can't keep getting away David with this. David is unreal. David is unreal. Chach has uh, way better equity here. David here with only six outs, the two of which were folded. So not doing so good. He has taken the hand down. Chachington has won a hand. He's played and won what feels like one hand tonight. But good for him. But good for him. Good, good for him. Really, good for him. Yeah. It's uh, It's been a while since we've seen a donation. Yeah. And it's and been a while since we've seen somebody suffer from a really, really hot pepper. Wait, like that's actually, coming. it feels like one's coming. 
Could you could you take this time to actually tell a joke? Tell a, tell a joke. <laughs> tell a joke. Yeah. Any, what kind of joke? Any joke that you want. Any any joke that I want. Oh no! What are you gonna do to me? I don't ha I don't know a lot of good jokes. Just just share anyone. All right. So uh, a man walks into a bar, and uh, he notices that there are two large bags of meat hanging from the ceiling of the bar. <laughs> and he uh, looks at them and says, that's odd. And he walks up to the bartender and he says, bartender, why are, there, why are there two big bags of meat hanging from the ceiling? Yeah. The bartender's like, ah, it's an old tradition at this pub. If you can jump and slap the bags of meat from the floor, then you get free drinks for the rest of the night. But if you try the challenge and you miss, you don't hit the meat, then you have to pay everyone else drinks for the rest of the night. So the man's there, he hems, he hauls, he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. That's, that's, that's a lot. I'm getting drinks for the night, but uh, that's interesting. But eventually the bartender gets sick of him just sitting there not buying anything. The bartender says, okay, lad, so are, are you going to take it or not? And the man, he stands up, puffs out his chest, and says, no, I don't think I will. The bartender says, oh, why not? The man says, the stakes are too high. Anyway, Greg folds here <laughs> and uh, Gabe takes down an $8 pot. <laughs> oh, man. Joe saying, how much for a shot of olive oil? I didn't even know that was an option. A shot of olive oil? That's... Do we Unless, have Unless... Wow, wait. Is that, a re is that a reference to an old GGAI live stream where someone made me take a shot of olive oil really? and I was sick for the entire night? That's disgusting. It was the worst thing ever. I love it. Let's make Greg do it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, $200 donation and Greg will do a shot of olive oil. Two, I have $100. I, because it's not even on the table, oh, we need to okay, make it a little okay. more. Oh, we got a little $200? That's that's a lot. I don't I don't know if we're going to get I don't I don't think anyone's... I mean, it's been done before. I guess so. $200. It has been done before. A pre Ezra Parker, a priest, a monk, an imam, and a rabbit walk into a bar. The rabbit says to the bartender, I think I'm a typo. <laughs> the rabbit? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because it's supposed to be rabbi. Whoa, 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 no yes, thank you for explaining the joke, Garrett. <laughs> that's, that's quality content right there. Meanwhile, there's a poker game going on. And, uh... Greg is counting his chips, of which he has lost several times tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal, but so true. Uh, Matteo asking. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited for the next edition of Greg's vlog, where Greg will show us how he lost five buy-ins and also folded the best hand. Matteo asking for $100. And that's the question. Just one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Can I ask for a hundred? I could use hundred. Let's give. Let's give something that we can do for a hundred dollars. For hundred dollars. to donate hundred dollars. We said one hundred dollars. Everyone at the table takes a uh, takes a Thai chili pepper to the face. Everyone. I love that, and I think they would. A hundred dollar donation, and everybody will have a Thai chili pepper. And at the same and time. you know what? I would add if we get that hundred dollars, and somebody else donates another hundred dollars in a completely separate, doesn't matter what for donation, uh, that would get us to our two hundred dollar Garrett eats Thai chili pepper threshold. What the? F what just the just with me? No, it's one hundred dollars. Whoa, no, no, no. That would be a single donation. Plus sir. another hundred dollars. Absolutely not. Would be two hundred dollars, and no, Garrett would have no, to eat a Thai no, chili pepper. That is not the rules. I'm pretty sure that that's no. the rules. That's not. Well, we see a $100 donation. Let's go ahead and see a flop here. Is it a family pot? It looks like a family pot. Jason said, LOL, Jesus. it was a reference to the olive oil shot, I believe. That is too funny. What a throwback. That was uh, one of the worst nights of my life. <laughs> <laughs> we witness here Greg with bottom pair, and the machine says he has less than 1% equity. Less, now it's zero. Just like the waning hopes for my future. Mateo asking if we can confirm that hundred dollar donation. I think we, I think we have that authority. Confirm Do you think everybody would take a Thai chili pepper for hundred dollars? I don't think they have a we'll choice. Make we'll make them. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We, we'll make them. we make up the rules. We'll make them. Chunching in here with a boat on the river. Wow. He sailed his boat along the river. He's got one now. That was really good. David's here with fives, thinking, <laughs> what the heck am I doing? 
I don't know why Gabe Please is still us. in there. Gabe is world. folded, and so has David folding as well. Judging doesn't actually realize that Pepper Theory Optimal demands a check here. He has to check to in, to force people to eat more peppers. So, poor Chuckington not quite realizing the style of gameplay that he's supposed to be playing here yet, but he's he's trying his best. He's still newer to the game. Mateo asked me, would Adam have to do the pepper as well? We can make it happen for whatever you want there, Mr. Mateo. It's, it's, it's doable. It's possible. We'll make everybody on the table, including the dealer, Eat a fucking I think we do pepper. have to ask Adam. Uh, on on the uh, okay, okay, will, on the ride here, he said no. I believe his exact quote was "No fucking way am I eating a pepper." No, no fucking. Okay, way. we'll we'll go ask. Uh, we'll go ask. Jay is currently playing a rhythm game in which he's losing, crucifying. Oh, I thought he was losing. Oh, you're supposed to click on the buttons. Oh, <laughs> oh I was dodging them. <laughs> I thought zero percent was good. That's why I'm bad at guitar. Hero. I, I've been dodging all the time. I thought it was like golf. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to get as few points as possible. Oh my god! Jack suited. Not me. Okay, Adam, Adam says he's good. So Adam, make sure every one. member of the table eats a Thai chili pepper. Wow. Every single one of them. All of them. For a $100 Adam, donation. Everyone. I don't know how we're going to deal more cards at that point. That's unbelievable. Oh my god. Bowen here with Ace King suited. Wow. If you combine Old Man's Coffee's hand with Bowen's hand, we have four fifths of a royal. Nothing. What? Edison has just dropped and destroyed his phone. So, um. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Got it in bad. Uh, worth noting that with all these spades out, it's unlikely we see any any spades get there. Because there's uh, a lot of dead spades. Mm -hmm. Bowen three bet. David called. No, Old Man Coffee called. Greg is folded because he's. What the hell was Greg there with? Seven four suited. What a donkey! If I convince uh, everyone on the table to allow Old Man Coffee and Bowen to play together, does that count for a royal? No. Okay. It certainly does not. Because I feel a no. ten of spades no. coming. It doesn't. No. I feel a ten of spades coming. It's, it's, it won't. Oh, but, but that is an incredibly uh, spicy flop. Holy uh, smokes. Uh, that is a wild flop. That is actually absurd. That is the one hits top, top. <gasps> oh my! Oh my God! What is happening? Oh And there's my a flush God. that gets there, but no one has it, but no one knows. Bowen goes all in because oh she has tricks. God. Old Man Coffee had two pair. David's somehow still here. He's, I assume, folded. Yeah, David. Wow. David doesn't have cards in front of him, so David is folded. David doesn't have cards in front of him, so he's <laughs> folded. There we go. That's a good job. And uh, Old Man Coffee is here, like, what the hell? My two wow. pair got counterfeit. My two pair no good. I just have a queen. Wow. But the king came. You can't possibly have a king. But you three bet. What you three bet? Being here. What a spot this is. This, I mean, realistically, Old Man Coffee should be folding this every time, right? Like if you if Bowen three bets, we got a ranger, right? Like, yeah. Makes the, only, the fold. Ace Jack is the fold only there thing. From old man coffee. Yeah, reasonable, solid, disciplined fold. Also, an um, undisciplined player would probably still be folding there. Really, only a player that doesn't know how preflop ranges works would be making a play. Exactly, like so, me. Yeah, and and me. <laughs> preflop pre 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 ranges are like like the place like where you go and you you shoot preflops, right? Like home, home, home on the preflop range. Who the fuck gave Garrett a sound <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you said shot or shoot. You know, we so. said shot several times tonight. We haven't played yeah, it before. A uh, hundred dollar donation, guys, for everyone on the table, including the dealer, to eat the hottest Thai chili pepper uh, that we have. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand Scoville units. That is over ten times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. Wow! Over a uh, over ten times. That's that's a lot of pain. That is unbelievable. 
In case people are wondering how the Scoville system, oh wait, let no, there's a hand of poker. Let's talk about that instead. Greg folds seven three off suited, and uh, Gabe folds two cards, and I don't know what they were. And, and, <laughs> and um, uh, there's a bunch of actions that we completely missed here. Now uh, we're at Chatchington, who opened with King Two suited. And I think that's a call and another call. Old man copy with two suited cards thinking they're suited. How could they miss? <laughs> uh, seven, wow. seven, three. Uh, none of those cards matter. And somehow King High is just the best hand at the moment. Old man copy thinking eight high, probably no good. And Chutchington folded to David's large bet. Even though he had the best hand, folding with King no kicker. Sorry, King High no kicker. Pretty reasonable fold. Greg with the lowest VPIP at 41%. <laughs> Shocker. Greg's game, but everyone has to have higher than 30% VPIP, which would just be Greg's game. It's, it's Greg's game, but he doesn't play a hand. Yeah, Greg, people want you to, the chat is screaming for you to play more hands. Chat, start screaming. It wasn't doing that before at all. It wasn't doing that. Good catch there, Ezra. If, if Greg had played his 7-3, his he would have flopped the boat. It's not folding 7-3 suit, people. Now it works. Okay. Apparently we've got a big straddle here. Now it works. Now like Greg touched it. Huge straddle and uh, Old Man Coffee has opened up Ace King Offsuit. A great hand. Big slick. The big old slickery nose. Ack. Uh, Ezra Parker in the chat saying, <laughs> Please never do that again. <laughs> so. Craig with queens into ace king. We got a classic flip brewing here. And uh, Gabe folding 5 3 off suit because, duh. Chushington has two cards. They're gone now. Don't matter. David with six deuce. He's folded them. And uh, we are heads up. Copy three bets naturally. Greg thinking, I can call this down and hope to dodge a higher card than queen. Say hello to YouTube, one. everybody. That's a good one. And that's a good one. Greg is going to be posting this video in his vlog. The question remains, will it be a profitable one, or will it be one where he folds the best hand after seeing everyone else's hand and eats a pepper as well? Greg has ripped it in. Wow, look at this. Old Man's ripped it in as well. Greg is well ahead. There's only two streets left for Old Man Coffee to find Mace or King. And it's wow. King. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Wow. And a jack. Greg will be uh, posting this as one of his worst sessions ever played. Played. I think he's bought in like seven times now. Yeah, wow. And he's going to eat so many peppers. Wow. Well, that is brutal. You got a feel for Greg here. But he did, he hit bell pepper, so, you know, he doesn't get punished with pain. <laughs> yes. uh, if you think that that's unfortunate and he should be punish, punished with pain, a $100 donation gives everyone the chance oh, to be please. punished with pain. Please. Everyone gets a Thai chili pepper if you donate $100. Or if you just hate Greg in particular, it's 20 bucks and Greg eats a Thai chili pepper. Or 10 bucks, Greg spins the wheel. I love poker. Is, that's is, the only thing I've said this whole hour. Is that's what? Is, is there a poker game going on? Yeah, THC is live right now if you <laughs> THC? Oh, TCH, sorry. TH, <laughs> THC. THC is the weed. I don't think, I don't, I don't think THC is a game that's uh, Greg's game, but every time you lose a showdown, you have to... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Intake THC? That'd be a good time, Bo, and the, but... It yeah, takes too long to start. <laughs> it would just be Greg's game, but everyone uh, is high before the game starts. Wow, that'd be a lot of fun. Sign me up. That actually does sound fun. Chat, does that sound like fun to you? Ooh, Greg playing a hand. A rare occurrence. He three bets it. Three bets a hand. Wait, I like how we say Greg playing a hand, a rare occurrence, the hand after he lost his whole stack of queens. <laughs> <laughs> 
every hand he's played, he's lost. No wonder his V kept slow. Oh my god, and David hitting his twos. <laughs> it's, oh, this it's, is pathetic. It's this funny. Is so... Oh god. Oh, Greg, oh, thank wow. god. Justice for Greg. Wow. It's, it's funny because while the peppers are really hot, Greg has been running so cold. Well, he David finally banked something. Make a call here. David. Oh. Right. David is folded. Greg is good. Greg won a hand. Hey, there's a change. He watches these after. Oh, Greg, I love you. I you're, love you. You're Greg. such a nice. You're, you're, what a what a kind and generous honestly, spirit. Honestly, just donating to the table and everything. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. The worst part is. Greg has played a, a tight, reasonable game, playing reasonable hands, oh, bet betting definitely. in solid spots, and he's just gotten crushed. Absolutely. Just, Arguably, he is playing very well. I, arguably, he's know, playing the best he, at the uh, table at the moment. He's just... Well, okay, I just uh, looked over at our uh, you know, third leg over here. He, I'm calling us his, his third leg. Uh, whose leg? Uh, Jay. Oh. I said that Greg playing reasonably well, and he's raising some eyebrows, so... I mean, if Greg was playing better, he'd be hitting his hands and not missing his hands. Just saying. I knew what I'm raising more money. Oh. Jay, Jay, says, Jay says, people who are playing better win money. <laughs> so, according to Jay's logic, Gabe is playing the best at the table. <laughs> by far. By, by, by far. far. Gabe is the best player at the table. Um, if Greg wanted to play better, he would have hit. He would have played 8-4 offsuit and hit his 2 pair. Like that's what I mean. Folding oh. Greg there, folding ace-8. Ace-rag is a, a good fold in, in, in actual yes. poker. In real actual poker. It he is. should be folding that hand. Gabe here folds 8-4. Eight, eight, he's shown to play it in other, other spots, but this time he's folding it. How often do you see someone like Gabe or just anybody be up more than 10 big, uh, ten buy-ins? Greg, Greg last stream. Yeah, and he made a huge big deal out of it with his video. Oh, so now he's getting punished for it. Yeah. Or so wait, the other way around. but when Greg was playing last stream, he was playing looser because he was drunk. Maybe this week I'll edit a Gabe highlight wheel. Real. <laughs> uh, I like wheel. Yeah. David here with a wow. 10, the best hand. The, 10, the best hand. Yeah. <laughs> seven deuce game is live. We haven't seen a seven deuce hand yet. Bowen folds here. Bowen folded. Don't think that much, alright? Let's just fold your five. Oh, question where is Courtney? Courtney is gone. She is, in fact, on a boat and not a full house. <sighs> yeah. so. The deuce, everybody. Somebody cut off Garrett's hands, please. You know okay. what? Who's someone on the table that you think deserves recognition right now? Recognition? For what? Just for being them. Just for being them? I think Adam hasn't had a lot of, of thanks yet. Everybody, Adam's... I want everybody in the chat. Oh, no, to wait, make no, some stop. Noise. Please, Garrett, no. Make some noise for Adam, no. who is please. the dealer. No. Everyone in the chat, let's spam Adam. Garrett. Everybody. No. Thank you, Adam, so much. It's it. So good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Garrett? Wrong button. I swear to god. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I swear to god. Anyway, there's four players in this particular hand of poker. Oh, Gabe has picked up a premium hand here. Seven deuce. Thank you, Sam Miller, for commenting. He's got Adam. a gut shot. Gabe with a gut shot here. A six gets him that straight. Uh, and if he wins the hand, he gets five bucks from everyone. Bowen has called Chutchington, who got a bottom, bottom pair. David here with queens and an over pair. An ace comes. That's probably scaring David, but it doesn't actually matter because no one has an ace. Gabe here still just hoping for that. Oh, actually, that ace is great. Wow. He's got a double gutter. Double gutted gave us bet. Wow. He shows seven deuce, around. everyone folds. Gabe is so sick. He can't oh be beaten. God. That's unbelievable. Greg sitting here like, not more money. That is insane. That's, that really is. 
Gabe is... I, wow. I don't know if Gabe is the hero or the villain of this story, but he's definitely one of them. And he's definitely winning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's kind of outrageous. Appreciate it. Just to remind everybody, a one hundred dollars. Jay, could you tell them that it's five dollars, like it's always been? Everyone's everyone's setting this up. We may have to edit together Gabe goes all in for, for the next one. Greg doesn't have a lot to cheer about. Ooh, maybe we can get a maybe we can get a donation here where we force all the players to check it all the way through. Oh, that's a spicy that would literally that's a spicy that would, one. That's a spicy one. That's they'd have to Ooh. That's a good one. Ten dollars, everyone checks it through. Ooh, like a bomb pod? No, just just yeah, a nice ten dollar bomb pod. Just a good old coin flip. I think that's pretty good, Moody. What do you guys say? I think ten dollars is a fair price for a coin flip. Do you want to do for money instead of? Pepper? Oh, for the donation? Okay, yeah, like a ten dollar donation. That's what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Great. If there's somebody there who wants to do a ten dollar donation, uh, we will make them check through an just entire like a, hand. Just a, just a you know. Make, make them throw five bucks in and uh, yeah. run it out. Exactly. Actually, no, that's not, that, that wouldn't work. Everyone calls it through. That, that basically them. means that they all get forced to eat a pepper. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Oh. I want everyone to eat Everyone's pepper. spinning a wheel. No, that's, that's pricier that than that's $10. That's like bucks. Oh, no, yeah. Everyone so eating, no, that's 50 no, bucks. No, not 10, not 10. It's 50, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 bucks, everyone eats 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. No one yeah. do 10, no one do 10. We already said that. 50 bucks, everyone eats a pepper. 50 bucks. 100 bucks, everyone eats a Thai pepper. They almost got you guys. Yeah, almost. Yeah, wow. We got yeah. lulled into a false sense of security like Greg is here with his Queen 8 suited. He's got a backdoor flush draw. David here. How many times has this happened where, where Greg and David have been heads up and, and David just drills every card that he needs? Also, Greg's dominated. <laughs> Greg has been dominated so many times he needs to see a therapist about it. But he does. Ooh, that's a spicy card. Greg finding his draw. He's probably all in here. That's a very spicy card. He's going to He's show going all in the news. David folded. it. David folded. So he takes it out. So Greg actually won a hand. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> uh, That's good. No, he It's great. No, of course it. it's good. Greg, Greg deserves to win hands. He definitely does. Greg, when you're watching this back, my you suck comment was towards the deuce and not you. Yeah. It's not because you're on his payroll. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's payday. <laughs> <laughs> so if someone wants to donate, <laughs> I will I will walk up and tell him he's missed payday, and feed him a bit. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Do we have any tortillas left over? No, I think we got we we slapped through them all. Oh, Let's see if he, normal people eat them. You know how painful it is to get peppers rubbed on your skin too? Like the oil of pepper, like really, it can really like burn your skin. You that? It's quite painful. That and any other part of your body that has the same like type of skin as the inside of your mouth, it's very like tender. So, so like the inside of your butthole? If not mistaken, the really stream hurts. ends at 8 p.m., correct? It, it does. So we only have 17 minutes left oh on the stream. With that being said... Then we'll, then we'll have the big bomb pot with all the... Ooh, my God. Yes, exactly. here with the, with, the, with the nuts, the, the best hand in poker. Best seven hand in poker. And uh, that's not a seven or a deuce. Neither is that. But hey, that is great. Open-ended. very nice. Open-ended, and nobody else is on diamonds. Now, Bowen also open-ended here with the seven, so that's not so good. If the nine yeah. comes, Chutchington loses a buttload of money, <laughs> but Old Man Copy blocks the nine. <laughs> seven deuce here, really unlikely to hit anything, though, unfortunately. Chutchington needs to hit a deuce or a four. Mm. The ace does nothing. Do nothing. But it does Ooh. maybe scare him off the hand. Wow. Chachington bets fifty dollars as a stone cold bluff. Bowen's got a thing to fold this. She's got an open ended. Nothing else. She folds. Seven deuce gets there. Wow. 
Wow. And that's five bucks from everybody. That is unbelievable. Great play from Chuck. Yeah. Folks, we are sitting at $153 for Donos. I know it might be a little bit of a push, but can we get that to 200 before the bomb pot at the end of the stream? That's just a $50 dono. Everybody will take a pepper. and uh, Or at least one person will. They'll flip for it. What? $50 dono. And they'll 50, all... $50, every, everyone everyone spins the wheel for the pepper. Yeah. Everyone. Oh, wow. Everyone the okay, table spins the pepper. Great, I love that. Yeah, that's, that's the rule. $50, everyone everyone eats a pepper. Joe saying great commentating. That's so kind of you, Joe. So kind, You're Joe. a wonderful human being. I hope that when you go outside today, it's like the perfect weather. It's like it's like 16 degrees, 15 and a half degrees. You can go out in like just a nice t-shirt, have a good walk. It's good for your good for your. Yeah. You know. Or if you don't like walking, you can just, you know, do that but inside. Uh, we got a fold and a fold and a Bowen with Queen Jack off suit. She's probably going to open or call here. Uh, she calls. David with fives has raised twenty dollars, and Greg has discovered seven right. deuce. He's seeing. Well, I was gonna say red, but in this case black because they're suited and they are both spades. With the nuts. He's thinking, if I jam, I could get five dollars from everybody. There must be an error in the graphics because to me, that's a hundred percent equity. Yeah, absolutely. And it's also a hundred percent getting raised here. Greg is there's no he's on he's on a bit of a tilt after after getting some some cards in good and, and just running really bad. He's really taking his time here with the three he bet. He's thinking, what am I gonna say on my vlog? He's and he goes all in. in. And he does that thing with his arms every yeah. time. Every he, time he goes all in. It's not jams. a tell. He gets a snap called and he says, I got snap seven called. Deuce. But Greg is lying. Greg with has got to be fuming about that yeah. call. <laughs> it's totally reasonable here because Greg has gotten it in good and then gotten sucked out on before. So now he's getting it in bad and he's thinking, Karmic Retribution, I can get it in bad and suck out here too. And it works both ways. <laughs> this is brutal. Greg is running into it today. No, seven. Let's see that. Gregory says seven, please. Seven, please. Seven, please. And he has missed them all, but there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Fives hold. Fives are going to hold. There was an audible woo from through the soundproof door, and uh, poor, poor Greg, he's getting stacked again. I, I don't know how many times this makes it, but it's been a, it's been a bad night for Greg. Three bet jammed over twenty dollars and gets a snap call with pocket fives. And now he That's gets brutal. snap call by pocket fives. <laughs> Stay loose, play seven yeah. deuce, good for the game. Gregory goes all in. You should maybe win and win the hand underneath. Oh yeah, it does. It probably you needed that. You didn't. That, well, that's not part of the shirt. He didn't have to. That's uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, now Greg gets to spin the wheel of pain. Yes. But instead, he's buying in more t first, and then he gets to spin the wheel of pain, which he forgot about. That everyone at the table was reminded him. And it's probably going to be a tie pepper just to add insult to injury, or I guess injury to insult. Thirteen minutes left. The, the table's screen. cheering. It is in fact a tie chili pepper. Incredible. You heard it here first, folks. Pain for Greg. Wow. You got to think that he's running out of uh, uh, pain receptors in his mouth at this point. Thirteen minutes left, folks. Any donations are. Very welcomed, as we are going to put one third of them into a bomb pot for the last hand of the stream. Any amount of donation counts, anything works. If we can get it to 155, even that would be great. 160, even better. 65, fantastic. 170, you get the point. Any donations are welcome. We'll try to make something happen for everyone that you guys do. Well, we will make something happen for every $10 donation. You get to force somebody to spin the wheel on a pepper every $20. You force them to eat it any pepper you want, specifically. 50 bucks, everyone eats a pepper. Imagine you did a $20 dono and said, bell pepper. I mean, you want to be nice. That's true. I bet you can just, yeah, I'm sure. Chad, are you feeling nice? Yeah, are you feeling nice, Chad? Well, usually they're not feeling very nice. Well, they're yeah. feeling very nice to us. Not very nice to the players at the table. Extremely no, exactly. nice to us. Because exactly. everyone in our chat is a wonderful human being. Yes. Every single one. Forever and always. Forever and always, Greg including myself. Flops top pair by playing, oh, two suited cards. Greg wow. realized that the strategy was going better for other players than it was for him. So he's going to start opening up to just play cards, uh, any two, really. He's definitely ahead here, but no engaged. He has no bet engaged. being ahead. 
I wonder if he's called Gabe's back. Gabe's gonna bank. Gabe it's folded and Gabe has oh, missed. Yes. Greg with trips here, happy to bet for value when he should be checking for Pepper Theory Optimal. He does, he checks for Pepper <laughs> Theory Optimal. Yeah, he for Pepper Theory <laughs> Optimal. He says, eat a pepper. Gabe is going to consume a... Oh, come on, I just took one. <laughs> Looks like a red, uh, uh, looks like a Thai pepper for Gabe. Merry Christmas, happy, I guess Easter was the most recent holiday. I think so, yeah. Happy, what's the next one that's coming, Victoria Day? Is that really a holiday? Yeah, you get the BC day off. Holiday. It's just a BC holiday? Is it not? I thought it was no, a No, we have it in the too, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just like, it's just another day off, you just know? Just another day off. Family Speaking of Family Canadian day. things, I have to check on the hockey. It's already done, though. I want to know if the Jets won. <laughs> Dang, they lost. They lost? 5-4. It was in double overtime. Too. Wow. Oh, right, a poker game's going on here. <laughs> oh, the Maple Leafs beat the, the Lightning, so that's exciting. Wow. Maybe they'll make it out of the first round. That means that my bracket is ruined. No, it's not. They're gonna, no, they're not going to make it out of the first round. Stop saying ridiculous what things. What kind of game? Is Hockey. Hockey? Okay. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So all the Americans watching have no idea what you're going to Yeah, the Americans have absolutely no <laughs> idea what we're talking We're actually speaking in code to them. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, so... If the sport doesn't involve a, a ball on a field of some kind, it means nothing. Would you like to do this next hand in uh, yeah. Morse code? Uh, <laughs> Could you imagine we did it for the whole thing? Uh, Greg here with Queen Jack. Old Man Coffee oh. once again opening up two cards that share a suit and thinking I can hit. Yet to actually accomplish it, but some cost policy dictates he keep trying. Even though if he does, he would be crushed by Chushington. The number of 8-4 suited hands we've seen, quite high. A lot of 8-4 suited. Wow. And he oh. has hit his straight with his four. His, his random, random fucking garbage. That is there. the most absurd shit. Old Man Coffee uh, playing two cards. Gabe is looking like he's in extreme distress. His face is starting to to melt. Wow. How close are we to, to Bomb Pot? It's nine, nine minutes nine away. Nine minutes Pot. away. Do you think we could get the donations up to 160? Yeah, I think so. We're at 153 right now, folks. If any of you have any loose change and you want to inflate this bomb pot, now's the time to do it. We do appreciate any any amount, even if you can't donate. We appreciate you being here. 54 viewers, is that right? That's fantastic. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Don't forget to tell your friends. Show up next time. We do this every week. Next Saturday, we'll be doing... What is next Saturday again? Next Saturday, uh, there will be no Greg's game. Oh. Okay, so we don't do this every week. <laughs> Greg's in Taipei. Oh. It's going to be hard to have a Greg's game if Greg's not here. Correct. And then the week after that? Yeah. Greg's in Taipei. Still? Yes. And the week after that... He's back. Great, great Greg's game. So three weeks from now... He's in Taipei for the Asian Poker Tour, correct? I believe so. Because he also is president of that. You should check out the Asia Poker Tour if you want more uh, Greg Goes All In or if you want more poker content. Um, people probably playing with slightly lower V-pips there. Uh, and also maybe playing uh, something that closely resembles the game of Texas Hold'em a bit better than whatever the fuck is going yeah. on tonight. This is more like <sighs> Florida Man Hold'em, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just kind of wild and crazy. Yeah. Just throwing shit at the wall, seeing what sticks. <laughs> exactly. Also, there's spicy peppers. Uh, Greg folding uh, the five, premium five, five two, two suited. suited. I mean, let's watch a hit a straight flush here on the floor. Gabe flop. thinking I'm bored and these cards are suited. I can call David Maniac Range. David in the position of under U oh, U G J S. And Gabe is D. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? D J S. Oh, U G J. <laughs> uh, Gabe has banked his three, which is somehow good here, but also his flush draw, hence the very high equity, because uh, David's jack of diamonds is no longer a real out here. Got a comment saying, "Wait, what the fuck is this production value?" Uh, would you like to clarify? Do you mean good or bad? Uh, he means good, and you're welcome. This is an amazingly yes. produced uh, stream. Yeah, we we so put a lot much. of time, thank effort, you. and money into this stream to, to get something entertaining going, and uh, also so that we can uh, force people to inflict pain on others in front of a live audience. 
Wow. Gabe has gotten there with a bottom pair. Wow. It's just going to check around. There's no way that Gabe bets here because he's not a fool. He also doesn't want to eat a pepper and thinks that David's maybe good, but he can't open luck. He has to either make a bet or fold, and in either case, he will be taking this hand down. I don't know. How much? What's the max amount you're calling? D Gabe is asking, what is the max I'm amount you're calling? <laughs> Which seems like an angle. Greg is scrolling through his messages. Probably, oh, he's, he's on, is he on YouTube? No. That looks like Messenger. Greg is on Messenger. Greg is currently on Messenger. Scrolling through, let's see if we, is, is it yeah. one of the ones that we're in, or is he on a different Messenger chat? I'm just going to say, hi, Greg. I don't think it's ours. I, I a, yes, it is, because he looked at it. Oh. I see you. So Greg is watching. Get off your phone. Uh, we're watching Greg watching us. Gabe won the hand. David with 75% no, recap is pretty high. We are five minutes away from our end of stream bomb pot, folks. Five minutes away. If you would like to donate to add to that bomb pot, do it now. $10 gets somebody to do pepper. You pick. $20, you pick the pepper too. 50 bucks, everyone eats a pepper. 100 bucks, everyone eats a crazy spicy pepper. We're trying to get our bomb pot up to 160. 160, can we push for it? There's five minutes left. Anybody with $6, wait, that wouldn't equal 160. All right, <laughs> Garrett, once again, proving to us why he is in the booth and not playing the game. $7. Seven dollar donation, and we will get it to one sixty. Wait, did Greg pull out his phone and go on Messenger? That's in the correct. middle of his own stream. Yes. Didn't he say no phones because you could dox your own? You can check the YouTube and. Now looking at the hand here, old man <laughs> Coffee has a jack. Oh shit! <laughs> Said that way too loud. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he's folded the uh, nut hand, the Robbie special. Gabe here with a 6 5 suited raises with his low suited connectors. Unique drop saying a very kind hand. comment saying, yeah. honestly, I think you guys have done a great job setting everything up. Great job with commentating too. Aww, very that's nice. so sweet. We actually a $16 donation. Why 16 Because we have to pay for the $169. $169. Jay has just done the math. We need a $16 donation because I quote $169. Ah, yes. What is the donation? $16? $16 to get us to $16 donation. To get somebody, us to please. We'll get us what it to $169. 169 and Greg will do a back tuck off the table. No, I'm joking. He <laughs> um just a $16 donation, guys. There's three minutes left. Please, is there somebody? I'm begging. I'm begging. That would just be fantastic. Right here, three minutes left of the stream. We'll see if Greg plays a hand. Greg's played lots of hands. I know. I'm just messing. Actually, with I feel him. like a lot of plans of hands have played Greg. I think that's honestly very true. Right? No what? more. What? Azure with no more Greg theory optimal. Greg has been consumed by the crotch theory optimal. Yes, he is cheating by looking at his phone and not looking at the YouTube channel. I don't know why it's cheating, and it also isn't. But, um, I mean, we could argue he's cheating, but clearly he's not. Yeah. No, I don't think there's anything there. So we got to gaslight him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jack 10 for on the flop. All right, David dominated here by Old Man Coffee's suited King 8. Uh, that Old Man Coffee is obviously playing because it's suited. Uh, looks like something happened, and now Bowen is also not in the hand because she folded, and some poker. Poker is being played. Uh, the deck is being shuffled, so the hand is over. Uh, I am now being shown a number That's on a phone. One third of the bomb pot. Apparently, one third of the bomb pot is sixty-nine. No one donate. Dollars. <laughs> no one donate. So no one donate because if you do, you ruin the sixty-nine dollar bomb pot. So yeah, everyone, we're good on donations actually. That's good. That's it. Thanks. Thanks for thanks for showing up. Thanks for donating. But uh, we're we're closed. We're not, we won't take any more. You'll. That's that's it. That's all. That's we're good. We're that's that's great. Thanks thanks folks. Um, we got about one hand left in us before the uh, the final hand, the bomb pot hand. 
and uh, Jay's gonna set that up for us. Our, our big old, big old bomberino pop. All the chips are out there. Do you want to grab the chips first? Bring them right here. Um, that was a joke. Uh, donations are still open if people want, but we will only be taking them for one Six more nine. minute. One more minute. <sighs> The camera is currently on Greg, who has money out for some reason, and I am going to be right back. Oh, wow. I'm going to go ahead and take over the commentating here, David, with those pocket tens looking real happy about that. Bowen just so bad. Old man coffee, the K8 folding it, Ace 3 folding it, fold, 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 and fold all the way around. Bowen, who makes the call here? with 10 five suited. Let's go ahead and see a flop and see what kind of juicy action we can get here. We got a king, we got a deuce, we got a six. Nothing happening for Bowen. We're gonna see David get the check mark here. <laughs> takes it down and ladies and gentlemen with that that is going to be the last normal hand of the stream and so it is time it is time for us to do a bomb pot Pot is coming out. Bomb pot is going out. Thank you, everybody, so much for your donations today. The total is couldn't be any better. Sixty-nine dollars. That is one third of the chat. It is $69. And that's going to act as a little jackpot for this hand. But here we go. Thank you again for the donations. It's been a really good stream. Let's end it out on a really nice big hand. What do we got going on here? Is this a double board PLO? Yes. Double board PLO bomb pot to end the night. What an incredible time. The pot is uh, $99 in the pot, even though it says 30 there, it is 99 99 okay, let's see, ooh, that's a juicy first board. That's a juicy first board. Craig looking great with that bomb pot top on his head. Everyone looking very intensely into their their four cards here. We're just getting the uh, double board set up and ready to go. It's a little little difficult to uh, get it going, but perfect. Now we've got it. We're gonna get everyone to rescan their cards so we can follow the action tightly here. Greg got the queen ten four three three clubs. Probably not the happiest about it, but. With a big jackpot in the middle, he might be able to make something happen with it. And he, is, he is chasing some uh, some back doors. He's got some straight draws. I suppose a very low flush draw, but well, I guess a ten is not too low. Sorry. Oh, I'm back. The deuce is back, and we are commentating on the final hand of the stream. Bottom Greg is going, doing, all doing the in. name of his show. He's going all in with uh, a straight draw on the bottom and a straight draw on the top. And he's hoping that his uh, straights are good. Both boards rainbow, unlikely for flushes. There is a uh, 
prepared board on the bottom, so I don't know quite know what he's doing, but I guess he's hoping that one of his trades gets there, and he has some fold equity. Gabe must feel Gabe so excited to have that jack in his hands. Gabe here with trips. He's got <laughs> kind of go all in for a thousand dollars. Wow, somehow beautiful rips it in. hand from Church. Church with uh, a he's king nine five suited. Beautiful hand on the top. Not so great on the bottom, but he does have top and bottom on the on the top board, uh, which I believe is the best hand up top at the moment. He has a lot of draws too with this hand. Church? He does. Yeah, some back doors for both hearts and spades. And some, he's got a lot of back door draws. He's, he's, he's out of it. Gonna he's gonna fold it though. Just bye bye. He's gonna take his winnings or losses and just, just let him stand with it. Oh old man, man coffee. coffee. Ace is here. He's got top set on the top board. Wow. Aces wow. and eights, and one of them's even suited. That's pretty crazy. A queen, a queen and comes a deuce. And a deuce on the top for the flush draw. A king. King on the bottom and a spin wow. of bricks. It looks like top set's gonna. No, hold up. Greg, Greg made a straight and on the top Gabe board. going to chop. Greg making a straight on the top board and a straight on the bottom board. I think Greg is going to scoop both, yes? No, it's going to chop. It's going to chop. How does it chop? So uh, it's a good question. Let me figure this out real quick. Uh, Greg has seven, three, four, five, six, seven on the top board, and he has nine, ten, jack, queen, king on the. Oh, jack. Jack, ten, ten wins for Gabe. Wait. How does no, queen, ten? queen queen ten makes a straight too? So so the bottom board is chopped, and Greg scoops the top board. So Greg is going to uh, yes, three quarter. Yes. There's going to be some complicated pot math here. Uh, old man coffee gets stacked. He's he's toast. He's 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 sad. He had a good run. He tried. He'll be his, stumbling up his way to heaven. Exactly. His his top sets no good. Uh, Greg will scoop the top board, which means he gets 50% of whatever's in the pot, and then he will uh, chop that bottom board up with Gabe, because they both have 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. Wow. Yeah. They made it in different ways. Greg makes it with his 10 and Queen, Gabe makes it with his 10 and Jack, but they both have a straight. What an incredible, incredible day. Look at that pot size, too. Massive. Crazy. That's a massive size pot. Clash of Titans. Good old one dollar, one dollar. Good right? old one dollar, one dollar. Uh, as we, uh, I suppose, close the night off. Yeah, thank you, uh, thank you, everybody, for being here and uh, supporting the stream. We put a lot of work into this, so your support and donations and comments mean a lot to us. Uh, again, this has been the Deuce and Garrett in the commentary booth. Edison on the switcher, touching the buttons, and feeling, it's the only feel, thing he's touching. Not my leg, Daddy. Um, <laughs> Adam was uh, Adam was our dealer, and uh, just uh, another huge shout out if you tuned in. Thank you for being here. Even if you didn't donate, we still love you so so very much. But please, just do better next time. No, I'm joking. Please <laughs> ignore you're Garrett and good. tell your friends. Uh, we're gonna have another Greg's game. What is it? Two weeks from now? I believe so. Perhaps the schedule. Perhaps after this stream, if TCH is still going. We, uh, yeah, Texas Card House closure. <laughs> oh, live stream. We uh, go over there and tell them to watch Greg's game. There you Anyways, go. that's going to be it for us. And goodbye. Have a great night, everybody.